That same energy you bet me when a hundred with, you have it. We going live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of No Jumper News. How was that? <laughs> and guess who is here? New. Yeah, News. You know what I mean? Guess T-Rail. who's back with us? We got T Rail. We got Lush and very special guest today. We got Vashti on the mic until yes, Gina sir. gets here. Yes, sir. Vashti. Say What's hi. up, hi. V? Yeah, Big V in the building. You know what I'm saying? We gave her a nickname. Now, you know what I'm saying? Since she on the mic, is Big V. Big you know what V I mean? in the building. I like that. Everybody in the chat, we need oranges in the chat. But also, uh, alongside your oranges, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big 49er fan. And as soon as I walk in the building, I get highly disrespected. Highly disrespected. By these fake ass Eagle fans. Um, one is Josh. I am definitely a fake ass Eagles fan. I'm only interested in them because I put money on them. You're the a Patriots of the fan. That's exactly. the ops to you. This it is, is the ops. It was a hard decision to make, but I put a little bit of money on the Eagles and I'm flying high. You flying high with them, huh? I'm flying you think high. It's going, you think it's go time, huh? I think, I mean, they've been with Jalen Hurts healthy now, by far the best team all year. Okay. It's not even close. Not until they play. Your Niners struggled against a shitty Dak Prescott and a clueless Cowboys team that threw Ezekiel Ezekiel Elliott out at center in the last play of the game to get run the fuck over. Before we. When they needed a touchdown. Before the game even started. Dak Prescott is so prestige as a quarterback. He's experienced as a quarterback. Experienced play uh, playoff quarterback. Their defense is so uh, extravagant. You know what I'm saying? So exciting. So you know, it's going so crazy for their defense. 49ers is not going to know what's going on. Extravagant defense. And it's kind of how it played out. Nah, hey. So Your team how, got one touchdown. How, how long is this... Um, 49 is this a lifelong thing yeah 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 let's say he's just playing he's playing around he doesn't know what's going on right now you know what i'm saying orange is in the chat he's just trying to make bets and get some money but that's okay Easy money whoa we so gonna, so gonna i'm see a, here we're gonna see here folks i've been a lifelong fan of okay the raiders yes sir and uh we didn't make the playoffs and we we usually don't make the playoffs yeah, we don't care about the Raiders, folks. We don't want to but, care about his explanation about the Raiders. And- <laughs> no, what, 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 one thing is for one thing's for show sure, though. When the Raiders play the Niners, the Ra- spanked Raider fans beat the living shit out of Niners fans without fail at every single game. Are you kidding me? That's a fact. That's what you have under your belt right now. That, that's it, and we cling and do it. That's a fact. That, and we that's cling and do it. And we cling and do it. That's all we got. Are you hearing this right now? That's Sanford? all we got. Are, are you hearing this right now? The disrespect I get in here when I come to the it's office kind is kind of like a loser mentality. We can't win on the field, so we're just going to beat your That's, ass. It's, it's been like that. I mean, we had one. We got robbed in the fucking Super Bowl 20 years ago. And that's the last time we were even there. Okay, we don't even care. Give me some hearts in the chat. You know what I'm saying? For the 49ers, we don't care about the Oakland Raiders. Oh, the Las Vegas Raiders. Raider now. It's even worse. Nation. <laughs> it's even worse. Raider Nation. <laughs> it's even, the Las Vegas Raiders. That does not ring a bell. It's not going to never ring a bell. So give me some hearts in the chat for the 49ers, man. If y'all 49er fans, like I said, let's get it going. Like I said, the Niners fans get stomped out and that's all that matters but y'all not even really the ops like that it's just like it's the 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 kind of but really no our ops are like the ponies the queefs yeah that's ops too y'all y'all just an op y'all ops all around you know what i'm saying vashti do you do you follow sports vashti nope oh my god so when you have a boyfriend what do you do when he watches football and basketball i only watch basketball are you watching basketball? You, you pretend to be interested? For you sure one of those girls? Do. For sure she do. I've been to football games, but I don't pay attention. Same but, with baseball. I'm just like eating, drinking. I'm not paying attention. But with, ba- with, with basketball, what are you doing? I like the Lakers. Oh, let's go, Vastai. She's a Laker fan. You hear that, Josh? <laughs> but my dad plays basketball. You hear that? <laughs> she said she doesn't like sports and she's a Laker fan. Yeah, that lines up. She said she doesn't really, you know what I'm saying? She's not interested, but she, sports. you know what I'm saying? She watches basketball and if she watches, she watches the Lakers. I heard that very loud and clear. I I heard that, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's go, Vast High. I like that, man. We so, could definitely meet in the middle with the Lakes. Yeah, we could meet in the middle. We could we do that. Pause. How are they doing this year? 
Um, we kind of struggling. It's a rocky road. You know what I'm saying? We got to get it together. You feel me? Like AD is, you know, keeps getting hurt. You feel me? Uh, I got my boy Brian. He came in. He started doing his thing. You feel me? Pat he's Beverly. He's Pat doing Beverly off the bench. Don't even play with us. Come Pat on. Beverly. He, you know, he's he's doing what Pat Beverly does. Two and a half assists for a game. I mean, we just got to get Pat it together. Beverly podcast. Uh, yeah, no, it's with the, I don't. It's with your boy it's, Rowan. It's with my homie Rowan. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's oh. actually dope. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty going good. crazy. Yeah, uh, I gotta listen. I gotta listen in. Y'all didn't tell me about that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I thought as a Laker fan, you knew that. Uh, yeah, he just came on the Lakers, so I mean, he's it's not really like real deal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right now, anybody can get traded. You know what I'm saying? So that's really not. But we, we you know, what I'm saying that's all good, man. So what's going on on the news today, man? What y'all got out here, man? These folks, man, what is going on? Because I didn't talk about this on my stream, and this is a very good first subject. Um, wow, footage of someone falling at Drake's show off the balcony is really wild. Drake was performing his second of two back-to-back -back shows for Sirius XM at the Apollo Theater in Harlem on Sunday when a man fell over the balcony. The show was really dope. He had a crazy set list. He brought out Dipset with him. He was dressed like Killer Cam. Yeah, he was hard. He, he had Jewels and Jimmy doing the damn thing. They did We Fly High. That it shit was, was hard. Hella hard. Um, the incident occurred 90 minutes into Drake's set in video footage that surfaced on social media. A body is seen falling out of the second floor mezzanine. That shit crazy right there. Let's take a look at it. Wow. Boom. Was that a shoe that landed first? What was that? What, what landed first? That was definitely a shoe, then a body. Apparently, bro is okay. Which is a good thing. It looked like he was okay from the fall. Yeah, it looked like he kind of swung, hung on to some shit, and he, you know. It broke the fall a little bit. What, are you, what, the are, what are you doing at my show falling from the balcony? Can we? This ain't that type of show, homie. Grab a drink, enjoy yourself, bro. Yeah, it's a Drake show. I'm like, what are we doing here? This, it, it, they're, they're, they're not raging. This ain't, you this feel me? This ain't it. This ain't no much spit. This ain't, play, what are this you ain't doing? Playboy Cardi. You Sit feel down. Me? Like, if yeah. you standing up, that's cool. Relax. Yeah. Why are you falling off the balcony, my boy? Like, what Very, are you doing? Like, we have are you crazy? A Gina. We got a Gina. Like, this is a, a whole pet or something. Paul, like, come on. Gina, Gina. We gave Ashtai your mic because you bullshit. You, you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all. Look, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Gina in the building. We had some crazy shit going on with Gina, man. Oh. Smack, uh -oh. Smack said he loved that outfit you oh, had I saw on. that. <laughs> wow. You couldn't wait for Wednesday? Gina getting real sexy on the mobile <laughs> on the internet. Smack What's was, going on? Smack was ready to risk it all. Wow. My boy was choosing up. That's the new narrative? Gina got the trap out here. She trying to <laughs> thirst trap y'all, man. Let me Who find all out. tapped in after that picture? Enough. Whoa! <laughs> they trying to see what that thing do, man. Let me find yeah, out man. that. Let me find to... out that smacks a live viewer of Ofessions. What? As all y'all should be. Never. I'm Never. not watching you. You would be in shocked in the amount of rappers, rappers' friends that have come in here and told Gina that they watch. Every I single would. one of them. I'm not surprised. I'm not the, gonna. My fan, when I check the analytics, my fan base is me. Oh, of course, you sit in your pennies. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you got a whole leather outfit on. Yo. <laughs> talking about sex. So why y'all ain't tapping? <laughs> y'all can tap in. No, thank you, sis. I'm smart. This oh. Gina, you feel me? <laughs> we on not Saturday doing all that. and Sunday with leather on. Oh yeah, okay, come on, man. I'm like, what is Gina doing? This is like my little sister or something. Like that's how I look at. It. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, Looking like Tomb Raider, South Central Tomb did Raider like the post? and shit. I mean, but she got to do her thing. Y'all like my post? I definitely didn't like your I did, post. I did not but like the post. But y'all see Smack comment? Yeah. I, but I know I was talking to him yesterday on the, on my on, on my shit on comment. back on pig, and he was like, yeah, that Gina shit. Ho ho ho. <laughs> I said, damn, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Like, niggas, you Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah, it was going crazy. Shout you out feel to me? Smack. So would, would, you, uh, would you allow Smack to shoot his shot? Can we bring up Gina Pitcher? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me get the 10K likes. Bring it up, Josh. Bring Gina Pitcher up, God. <laughs> is, that is that uncomfortable, that much, that leather? Is that, like, cozy? My 
that nigga uh-huh. had the leather on. It's uncomfortable, huh? Bring no, it was Gina. comfortable. Oh, no, no. I feel no. good. I look good. I smell good. Yeah. All in your house, in the comforter, own home, <laughs> nobody there. Who the fuck nicked this bitch, homie? Hold on. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Gina. Hold on. It's not enough thigh. I need another thigh. Right there. Put the thigh out some more. Oh, look. It's Matt Common right there. Bob. Oh! Why smack at the top? Ah, uh, look at D-Lo. D-Lo got caught sitting hard eyes. <laughs> Who else in there, bro? Let me see the comments. Let me see the comments, homie. <laughs> wow, bro. You got a lot of blue checks in Mars. there. Mars. We got Mars the gr- in the comments. Uh, the girls support each other. You feel me? The girls. Where's Smack comment? Where does Smack He's say? He's the top. He's the very top. Oh wow, he put his tongue out. He put the <laughs> he put the drool emoji. Oh, get off this shit, he man. He drooling. Get off this picture. This is crazy. Come on, Smack. You are crazy. This is I'm not mad at you, Smack. It ain't gonna be me, but I ain't mad at you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like this, man. Hey, before uh Drake did this though, I like one thing he did do, I like that he bought off Pharrell jewelry. And he just been swagging out, man. He been, you know what I'm saying? He getting right back into his roots and he this- just this was my favorite yeah, part of it. Like, yeah, the like, yeah. The killer cam shit. That shit hard. That, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we were just saying. Yeah, look at this boy jacket. Oh, shit. Today's yeah. a new day. They're at the Apollo. They got to bring out the dips. Yeah. It's only right. It's only right. Okay, so hold on. Let's, let's just check this out. Let me tell y'all how much of a legend I am. Today's a new day. Now let me tell y'all how much of a legend I am. I'm talking. I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jeff Hamilton. Oh, oh, that Hamilton jacket is crazy right there. Gabe, he brought them them jackets that they got on. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Jeff Hamilton walked in his studio and handed me a jacket on camera. That's pretty hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. Period. I'm a nigga. You, you a are nigga. dipset. I ain't gonna lie I'm to you. Dipset. T. Rell, you a boy. I'm a boy out here. <laughs> you a guy. I'm a dude out here. You, you a guy. Let's, let's let the record reflect on that. I don't think everybody really taking this shit serious. I mean, it's kind of a younger crowd. Some I don't people think they don't know. know. I don't think they understand the ramifications of a Jeff Hamilton. Jeff you Hamilton. actually a part of history. Yeah, I am. I Every am. single piece is custom. Mm-hmm. Every single piece is original. And he came and hand. He came and gave it to me. Mm-hmm. Did he give Adam one? No. No. Nope. Damn. Damn. That's that's pretty impressive, sir. Yeah. I, I'm I'm taking that one to the you, bank. You be, do you wear it or not? Nah? I definitely do. I wear them out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm a, I, I would. I'm gonna wear them every chance you I had, get. You and RJ had had y'all's on at the um. At me the and show. RJ, me and RJ had one. You, you on. supposed to like with with that quality leather? Like the more you wear it, the it better. It breaks in. Yeah, it yeah, breaks in. Yeah, it breaks in. It breaks in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Call me dipshit around this bitch. I should have went to the show. <laughs> I should have went to the show. We're going to let Gina do the next topic. It says she ain't here late. Fashion be late because she really don't care about the notes because I think she got an interview today. But it's all good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who you interviewing? Um, Young Sin. Young Sin. That's you know right. what I'm saying? 21 Savage artist. Okay. Well, one, one thing I'll say real quick before we just move on. I think it's uh, really good that no one got injured because people are hungry for them lawsuits in these mm-hmm. type of situations after that whole Travis Scott thing and all them mm-hmm. bruh. So. I mean, if you fall out the balcony, like how much of a lawsuit is that on Shit. the venue? They can try to do what the fuck they do. You, you can definitely get a, a lawsuit on them. You know I mean, because it still ain't protected all the way 100% for sure. The balcony, and it's older. It's an older venue. Like, I know everything's not up to code. So. But what was you Remy, doing to fall? Brand. I mean, you were going too say. hard. You were trying. You were leaning over with your phone, probably. Yeah. Dipset came out. I probably yeah. would have failed too. If you, get, <laughs> if you get a lawyer with Berg in their name or Rosen, you might be able to. You might have some recourse. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm All a, right. Yeah. What you Blue got? face and academics beef has continued to sizzle on social media with Blue challenging. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to talk shit. I was I was waiting for you to talk shit about that. Gina did it. <laughs> um, did okay. you add to the beef? No, he did talk about it in the interview though. Mm. Blueface okay. talked about. Did you academics ask the question? The okay, keep I did. Going. I did. Okay, so it's your fault. Blueface and academics beef has continued to sizzle on social media with Blue challenging act to a fight. The beef was sparked earlier this month when they traded shots about each other's careers in supposed financial struggles on Twitter. Fuel was added to the feud 
Fuel was added to the feud over the weekend when Blueface called out academics for hate watching his Crazy in Love reality series, which follows his toxic relationship with Krishan Rock. In response, at claim during a Twitch stream that Blueface's 1.5 million camouflage house is in pre foreclosure and challenged the bro broke, challenged the broke rapper to provide financial financial documents to prove him wrong. Blueface explained in a tweet that his lender is currently trying to repossess the property, which in his which is his second home. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Second home due to an excessive number of nuisance calls. They trying to take my second house because the police has labeled it as a nuisance to the area due to too many 911 calls for robbery, shootings, fights, etc. He wrote, I know Act thought he ate and had a way to say he had more dough than me, but money can't fix everything. Act has one house he's renting. He added, keyword is they trying to guarantee the, okay is this all what blueface wrote yeah he tweeted all this <laughs> okay. the spelling the spell it's not gina it's not just so y'all know the spelling's a little bit crazy it's Vash sorry, Ty blue, sorry blue sorry blue sorry blue i mean Vash Ty wrote it um well basically so i've seen what happened oh uh, i've seen everything that happened so ak was talking spicy about blue blue came back and was like nigga i got more money than you yada 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 um my house ain't in foreclosure they trying to basically say that it's too much drama going on at the crib so i ain't broke that ain't the reason why whatever fast forward academics uh he got on his stream he watched the interview he reacted to the interview on his stream he reacted to some other things that's been going on with the couple and then blue said i need a fade well, no, he didn't. He didn't. He 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 only asked for a fade after uh, academic said uh, little baby ain't uh, you know what I'm saying trying to give him a fade or said anything about yes. uh, having you know what I'm saying giving him a fade. So blueface tweeted him back like, since you talking about fades, I'll run that for you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying if you need that, you know what I'm saying. Then my boy came back. Academic was like. Uh, you gonna have to run, you know what I'm saying, all 10 of them bitches' face, you know what I'm saying, that's fucking your, uh, oh, I didn't niggas. see that. You gonna have to run all them niggas' face that's fucking your bitch. Ax said that? Yeah, all 10 of them. That's who you gonna have to fade oh, first. Oh, I didn't see that nigga. part. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna buy your house, you know what I'm saying, and then I'm gonna kick you, your baby mama, and your kid out, and your future baby mama out. <laughs> and that's he, what he said. And he and, and Ax saying that, that blue only got whoa, one whoa, home and it's in foreclosure. Whoa. He's saying he got two cribs and um, act only rents. Y'all seen his tweet? Damn, I got five k per nigga who fucked blue face girl who down to get on my Twitch stream right now and break it down on how it happened. DNA DNA test included. Fuck Mari, you know what I'm saying? Big act for the do it, you know what I'm saying? Paternity test for that broke ass nigga blue face, you know what I'm saying? I'm he I'm pleading I'm, I'm pledging fifty thousand, you know what I'm saying? In this effort, who got blue face girl pregnant? That's how act be talking on. <laughs> Off that he said it just like that when he was writing that <laughs> shit. Like, nigga, he's shame on you. Man, no. Man, what's the next tweet? Because that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Give me the next slide because he's still going. You know what I mean? Oh. Ten niggas piped out blue face girl and he's still talking Henny bottles to the head. He's still taking Henny bottles to the head. So I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Clown. You know what I'm saying? All capital letters. You know what I'm saying? And then he added them. Damn, get your manhood before you talk to me. You feel me? Ten niggas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And to be fair, that's what Blueface knows about. So there could hypothetically be more than that. I mean, you can't. You see, when you, once you get into this internet stuff and you start doing this stuff, and you really see me, is you know, I, Blueface will be because he tweeted. Oh so yeah, Ak, Ak also tweeted. Blueface said ten yeah. niggas fucked his girl in the last year, and she still dropped a video of him eating that nasty snatch. Wow. Own up to your responsibility. You finna be on child support at Blueface Bleed em. Get your manhood back from your girl. You can't fight What's dudes like this. You can't fight dudes like this. Because this is too much back and forth. And then you, both that. of y'all talking crazy. So Blue said, had all that energy for Lil Baby, though. Cuz said, actually, I'm not boxing you. And then At came and quoted the tweet and said, fight the 10 niggas who piped your girl out, plus the girl who keep beating your ass. 
I'm a hundred percent down nigga, MMA shit. I'm gonna <laughs> buy your foreclosed house and kick you and your child and the mother of your child out and the ten niggas sh she done fucked. That's really Ooh. crazy. That last tweet right there equals a fade. Ooh. I really uh, applaud people that know how to argue because I can't argue. This that last look, this last line right here. You feel me? This last line. Your child. And your mother and the mother of your child. You know what I'm saying? Out. So and his, the ten niggas she But his fuck. face his first baby mama just caught a stray. Yeah. But the you know the, the thing oh, is well. <laughs> yeah, I mean if you're in war, you the, know what the, I mean? the thing is like Ak, he never really has any intention in like seeing people face to face. So there's no limit to anything that comes out of his mouth. Then why he call Th little baby? That's up. not to say that he won't do it though. That's not to say, but like that's how he started. If you look back in the day, he was like, I'm not a street dude, I'm not outside, I'm gonna say whatever I want. And you oh, know, Blueface responded an hour ago, okay. They can scroll up. He wants, he, wants, up. he wants them hands. All right, so Blue tweeted. Act want me to fight a female instead of him at 31 years old. Give it up, bro. Squabble up or shut up. We all know when a nigga turning a fade down at academics, it's clearly turning it down the best way he know how to. What's next? Who do you think? Who, who do you all have in the in the if they actually throw hands? Blueface. Man, Blueface is is beating a bro up. Um. What's the next? I one? thought it was funny when he was like, hate watching my show. <laughs> Because people do watch a lot of content with the intention of just hating, not liking it, and yeah. just watch it for. But hey, I mean, a lot of people don't want to admit that they just really fans of of, stuff. Oh, of whatever. No, I'm saying just whatever stuff. content they're consuming. Because we can mm -hmm. talk, we'll talk shit about some content that we watching, but it's like we watching it. We watching. It. So you a At fan of, of some day, shit you, you don't like? You know, well, ain't nothing else on TV. Blueface also, <laughs> Blueface also tweeted, niggas always use a bitch as a cop out, sound like a bitch ass nigga to me. Nigga said MMA, yeah. he must want to wrestle or some. LOL, cuz, act for show can't throw no kicks with his fat ass. What? What's the next tweet? Let me find out, act been training. Nah, he ain't been training. You know what I mean? That's out. I got a Ak little. is offering five thousand to ten niggas to take the fade for him. I must be the big bad wolf or some, cause he was going He was so gangster for little baby. Yeah. Ak was in a committed relationship with Selena Powell. Come on, cause you really want to talk about a bitch, bro. Yeah. Wasn't a. Didn't he like little babies sliding Ak DMs talking about let's let, like come on run it let's link up and then when Ak responded he like. Unsent the message, little baby. I don't. I don't remember what happened. Can we find that? Can we find those DMs? I believe that's what happened. Mm, probably. What are my super chat saying though? What are the fans saying? You know what I'm saying? As we're talking, you feel me? Because you know we have a lot of perspectives on this right here. Who y'all taking in the chat? You know what I'm saying? Y'all taking? Can blue we get face? a poll? <laughs> yeah. Y'all taking blue face or y'all taking act? Are y'all just taking act just overall? Because people just just take it act overall just as a, you know what I'm saying? Just as a um. Act as far as roasting is definitely up I'm just as far significantly. As a content, I'm just as a content guy, and just you know, just overall in life. He's he's they're up. taking him. They he, taking his side. In he, life. He's up. However, when it comes down to fisticuffs, uh, isn't Fig Munity setting up a, a fight or something? Y'all got like a, a card lined up or something, right? Man, I don't know what these niggas got going on. You know what I'm saying that's my boy Pun. You feel me? Yeah, big unity, get it going. You hear what I mean? That's so I'm saying, fine. like, I oh, thought Ak had some do that. type. Of, I thought Ak had some involvement with okay. that card. So. No, but that, that's not even a card. The dude, um, the dude from his stream, Kyrie's coming out to fight Flacco, and he, like, Ak paid for the dude's flight, and is coming out to see it happen. Multiple people not fighting that same day. I thought China Mac and Nina Boy, and it was. I don't know if that's official yet or what the deal is. Okay. Like, but I know that what's been spoken about publicly is that Kyrie and, and Flacco are getting down. I don't mm. know. We'll see if that still happens. I mean, if Axe had another phase, he could catch one, right? He definitely can. I mean, if you know what I'm saying, he come out here and do that. You know, But I, I doubt it, man. Just the way they move, just the way they do business. If he coming out real. and linking with the Crips, I mean, it's only right. 
Blue these faces niggas are really very don't come outside, homie. These niggas, you know, niggas ain't coming outside. They just really stuck in the house. They making their bread and they just in, in the house. You feel me? I me personally, I can't be in a house like that. Like Let me ask you a question. Let's say, let's say they meet up, mm -hmm. all right, and they actually get down. If Ack gets his ass beat, does that affect his stock in any way, shape, or form? I think no. it raises stock. Does it raise his nope. stock because he was ballsy enough to actually run it with he was him? actually, uh, you know what I'm saying, actually ballsy enough, like you said, to go act, go out there knowing he was finna get his ass whooped out of shape, you know what I'm saying? I don't Drinking. think nobody expects him to, to beat up. They be like, oh, he ain't scary. Because okay. you got to run a fake. Uh, if a nigga asks you for the fade and you yeah. take it and you get beat up, so I think what? niggas, I think niggas don't it? respect act more. Like, oh, so you pull it up. up. They'll be clowning, but nigga, oh, yeah. you got your ass whooped, but I went out there and did it. Who else mm -hmm. want to run it? All yeah. right, what about um? So, so what happens with blue, if does Blueface get points for beating up back? No, no. You don't. Not even on some comedy shit. No. no. Bragging rights. No. What happens if? He what? Blueface knows that though. He know he don't get no. What happens off if of, Ak, off of fighting a, but it, a it, internet? Person. If Ack happens to beat Blueface up for you know whatever twist of fate allows that to happen, does that make him? Is he like? The Punisher at this point is he like, is he like Thanos with the rings? Is he unfuckwittable? If anything, if anything, I think he probably invites more people to want to fuck with him after that. Yeah, so it's a it's a, it's, it's kind of it's a wobbler. So if you you get Freddie your Gibbs ass whooped, huh? if you get your ass whooped, you get your ass whooped. It's like okay, you went out there and you fought, but now 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 niggas can see like oh he really can't fight. I'm finna beat your ass. Now it's been biting everybody. Like, okay, come on. You want to fight? Oh, yeah, I want to fight you. Mm. For sure. So it's going to be all type of motherfuckers that's going to start bullying. Like, oh, you was a bitch. I'll beat you up. From the littlest to the biggest. You feel me? So it's a wobbler. So if I was him, I wouldn't touch a glove. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just, Just keep, keep it on, on the, the safe internet. side. Keep it on the safe side. Yeah. Don't do none of that. But if they actually seen you, like if Lil Baby and them actually see you in the club or anything... It's bad. I mean, we all think the chances of this ever happening is like less than 1%, right? For sure. It's but if they actually happening. see him, if they actually see him in the streets at a club, at a, anything in New York, anything, it just, just so happens. I think it's still happens. less than 1%, man. I see. Nah. That fool don't be, when, do you, dude, when have you seen it, academics I mean, I mean, at the because, club? Yeah. Wack and academics have a really good relationship. Even if it's at a private be party. Come here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> when do you come here? Come here, come here. When do you hear about that fool being percent. outside? Ever private party? The only time I've seen Ack in public, other than when he was on um, the Everyday Struggle show, and was you that you don't take pictures and you don't take videos, so you don't let I niggas know where you at. I've I mean, seen, huh? I've seen him in a. Um, I mean, I haven't physically seen him, but I've seen pictures and videos of him out before. I, I want to say it was in like Miami or something. I seen when he we when he got into it with that bitch a few months back. Man, he was, that was in Miami too. Yeah, that wasn't Miami. He was running around Miami, so you you gonna get seen in Miami. Absolutely. For showing sure, the fuck. Well, where he you goes at? down there. He like films with Fresh and Fit in their spot and Niggas their studios where Fresh and, and Fit and at too. You just, just go ahead and wait in the valet. I think if somebody really wanted to find them, they would. I yeah, think that people I mean, honestly just understand like this is an internet act. is doing what he does. He's doing his job. I'm not. And that's just to look a spice for shit you. up. I'm not gonna look for you because if they wanted to find him, they could. He 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 willing to give out addresses and all that. If they, I'm not finna look for you, but if I see you one day, cause it's, it, it, he's big, like he said, I got money, I got this and that mm -hmm. like that. So people that have that much weight in this industry, I'm going to see you in one of these meetings, private mm -hmm. events, something that you have to show up one day. You know that, what I'm saying? That'd be dope if they play, since we know they're not going to see each other most likely. I feel you though. But if, instead, what if they play big bank, take little bank? It's a wobbler. I think Ak got bread. Act I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I think Ak got a bag. On. I don't know. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Absolutely. Ak got a bag. I don't know. He know he got probably got more money than the rest of these young rappers because he can see how much they doing, they streams, they contracts, how many shows they doing. Ak's been that doing this internet so shit. He been doing know. this internet shit for a real long time. That don't mean shit. Says, check it out, it's your boy Academics. So I, I think he got a bag on him. I don't know. I'm going to say it's a wobbler. I'm gonna say it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Close to what? Like each they, other. Yeah, they, they close. Mm -hmm. I, I think mean. so. What, and what do you feel like is the primary? Because you know, revenue stream for for Blue nowadays. Oh, y'all talk. Y'all comparing? I'm not talking about Blueface. 
I'm talking, talking about, about who are you talking about? Academics just having money, period. Y'all said, saying who got I said who, who would win more. Big Bang take Little Bang. Oh, that I don't know. I think it's pretty close. He has a uh, blue space has a steady uh, revenue stream that comes in every day. He also has a lot more overhead. How you know? Because he got to pay for that motherfucking house with them 20 females and all that shit. It's only rent. Shit. Nah, he's. Them bitches only there <laughs> for, think about the electricity only bill, bro. Weeks. How much your electricity bill? My electricity bill is ridiculous. Hey, look, when I first got a big house and I got a lump sum of money, I was like, I'm going to go give me a big house and a pool and all the shit. You know, I'm just typical stupid nigga shit that don't know what's going on or whatever. I left the waterfall on with the pool and all the shit, right? And I'm like, this shit is player, right? I'm sleep the waterfall on, you know what I mean? So (laughs) I wake up, blah, blah, blah. A month go back, I I, I get my bill. I looked at that bill. I panicked so crazy. How much was it? That motherfucking bill was seven racks. Ooh, one month? What? Well, you know, one quarter or however it is, is like every other month. So I'll yeah, say yeah. like 60 days or whatever the case may be. Water and power. Damn. That bitch was 7,000. Nigga, I looked. I was like, this can't be mine. I looked at Heather. And she looked at me. I'm like, they finna cut this bitch off. I would have requested <laughs> a Because I spent all my plan. money to get in here. Yeah. And then you got to think about, you got to furnish this big bitch. I, I didn't put none of this into perspective. Look, you got to furnish it. I need TVs for every room. Do Electricity, you have a, water. Do you have a cleaning gas. staff? Cleaning staff. I didn't no? even have none of that shit yet, nigga. And I looked at that bill. I was like, oh my god. Gardeners. But see, that's what taught me right there too, because you know I really wasn't. I was paying bills, but I ain't really you know like up on shit like my mama. Your mama always gonna help you. And I to call my mama. I'm like, bro, what do I have to do? You know what I'm saying? Even at my age, she was like, oh, no, you just call them and tell them you want to pay payments. I was like, oh, yes, please. <laughs> my heart just, you know what I'm saying? And called them bitches. I'm like, bro, I need to pay payments. They was like, oh, no, we, you got it. You got it. I'm like, oh, Lord, Jesus. All right, now turn everything off. Was we in the dark <laughs> and this bitch pee in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever turn the waterfall on again? That bitch never came back from <laughs> dry. <laughs> unless, it was, yeah, unless it was 4th of July, nigga, or something like that. Or my kids wanted to do... I didn't even have kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? And my oldest daughter didn't even want to swim. Are you so the type good. of the guy that goes room to room and unplugs all the devices when no one's using them? No, I mean, right now, no. I like all the lights on. I ain't even going to lie to you right now. Um, but that's Heather, though. She had cut off a light. My nigga, I could walk in the kitchen. My nigga, damn, they cooking in the dark. I'm like, what are you doing? She just got the stove light on and like a, the side yeah. light. So I'm like, bro, you tripping, bro. That's how my house dark. Niggas, everything off. That should be funny. They start cutting all the <laughs> lights off. I'm like, but that's Heather, not so me. I'm gonna cut it on. T- I'm trying to build a little vibe, but whatever. You know what I mean? And Gina, your house dark, but then when the lights come on, Gina live by herself, and she cutting all the lights nah, off. No, but when, when the lights come on, it's a gang of pictures of Gina on all the walls. Like, Absolutely, man, all the artwork. I it's see just... everybody laughing because everybody know about that goddamn bill. Now mm-hmm. my bed electric, so I gotta unplug the bed too. Yo, bed electric. What you doing? You got a water bed? <laughs> they still make water beds? This nigga's in my bed electric. Niggas is trying to go over Gina house now. Look, she got a leather outfit. Do you outfit. have a sleep number? Uh-uh. <laughs> you, 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 hey, your shit vibrate like the snooty fox? No. You put a quarter in that motherfucker? No, <laughs> it's just... You... <laughs> it's just like a low rider. She get in that motherfucker. I can't get in. Hold on. She like, jump in that motherfucker. <laughs> Jump in it, jump in it. Dr- 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 it's Hydraulics. Like a, it's like a roller coaster in there. Bro, what? All right, next subject. Yeah. It just, it just, it like fix your posture. Oh, it fix your posture. So it is like a sleep okay. number. It's, that's it's a sleep, essentially yeah. what yeah. it is. Yeah. So it'll like, we'll go up and down in certain mm-hmm. spots so like you that. Old. So you. Yeah. Okay. I'm old as fuck. <laughs> I just, went, I just okay. came here straight from the damn chiropractor. Sure. The fuck? What's up with y'all going to this chiropractor? AD, we go to the chiropractor. That shit feels amazing. That's some like new that's rich the, nigga shit. It no, makes your spine feel luxurious. That's fat nigga shit. You feel me? That <laughs> nigga's fat. They gotta get their little whole body because you know your bones can't hold it their is, body it, weight. It, it is. It's for. <laughs> it's for <laughs> sure. One thousand percent lack of core strength. Yeah, yo, I'm not yo, even gonna yo, lie. Your body to you. can't. Your body. Your bones not supposed to hold that much. You know what I'm saying? Fat. <laughs> It's for the <laughs> No, he's not wrong. <laughs> no. He's, he's not wrong. Your bones don't grow. You know what I mean? Like, your bones stay one size. You feel me? Like, Josh, no. <laughs> no, your bones definitely grow at a certain point your when you're younger. Since when? Your bones when? Your bones when you get longer. They're not going to get wider and, and thicker. 
that your you bones get, you definitely grow. You're going to grow. And, uh, bro, once right? you get to what? a certain no, age, yeah. it's over. Yeah. Because baby bones are not the bro, same bones. Bro, once you get to of, like of a certain course. age, you're done. Yeah. Yeah. No, time. no, but once he's saying once you're done growing, <laughs> your bones stop growing. Yeah. yeah. Your, your they ears, just start deteriorating, Your ears and your nose keep growing. Unless you have fucking... true? Yeah, your it, ears and your nose can stay growing. There's, you know your eyes never adult? grow, though? There, look, there's congenital your pituitary nose, disorders you where, your, Boy, and things where your bones keep growing. <laughs> but oh. that's... No, that's why you see seen the OB where they having the big-ass ears? Yeah, they never stop growing. No, your ears don't no, stop growing. No, they be growing. like this big. Man, y'all need to shut the fuck up. And he be it's like, the big, see, you can't make fun of them when they be having a the big nose. That's why I don't make fun of them no more. I should be like, ooh, that Can boy you Google, knows crazy. That, that's going to be your Josh, shit one Google, day, too. That's Google, all of us. Google what year do your ears and nose stop growing. Gina, your back never be hurting? You never want to go to the chiropractor? I feel like ooh. just sitting at... I spent three years going to the freaking chiropractor. After what sitting happened? for hours From my car shit? accident. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> she was trying to get the money. <laughs> our, near, our ears are 90% grown by age six. Damn. And our nose stops growing so as a teenager. T-Rail, what are you talking about? Oh, I thought that. it's actually one hundred percent the opposite of what he said. Okay, sorry. But, I thought that was. I thought. That, I thought I was right. But for some reason, I feel like old people's noses do look bigger and their ears do look pointier. So I can't. It says as you get older, it'll begin to change, but that's just because like the muscles in your face and everything are gonna shift over time. I think they get saggier. Oh, okay. they start so saggier. however, yeah. with age, yeah. your nose will begin to change. I yeah. think they, I think they do oh, get saggier. Okay, okay. I just thought it keep growing because they do a little crazy. Okay, so I could go back talking about old people. <laughs> okay, yeah. This next, this but this next topic is wild though. This next topic is a really good one, and you know what I'm saying. I got two girls in here. The, you know what I'm saying? That might not like this. I think we should talk about, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. No, I don't know. Talk about that because that's my homie. I love him to death. Uh, uh, well, how you say her name? How you say her name? Maya, Maya Jama. Jama. Maya Jama. Maya Jama returning ex boyfriend Ben Simmons $1 million engagement ring after athlete sends legal demand. I love that. <laughs> Give me my shit back now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you spent a million dollars on an engagement I need it ring. Back. I need it back. Yeah, and, need and, that it's, back. and it's and it's and it's fuck me too, huh? Yep, you don't like my mama either, huh? Just yep. all of that. You know how girls be saying, you know, y'all know how y'all be talking crazy, but I'm gonna need that back. You know what I'm saying? But I know females in relationships, they know it's a gift, it's a sign of endearment, all the whole little shit. You're not supposed to take it, take it back. You're an Indian giver, blah blah blah. You're broke, all the shit. You are gonna get all of that though, but. How many carrots is a million dollars? What I the mean, fuck? Jewelers is going to get you. Wait, They'll tell you some shit like that. I know we need some right. context. A million. We need some context, though. They, so he called off the wedding? Hold on. Yeah, let's get the context going, going back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or, is, or is this the context right here? Maya Jama, 27 years old. Okay, Ben Simmons' uh, representative sent the legal demand um, to his ex fiance Maya Jama, to ask her to return that engagement ring that he gave her as a gift last year. Oh, so he's been asking for it. Uh, Myers Ref says she's making um, arrangements to return the ring to Ben as he wished. Oh, I mean, but look, what what arrangements do you need to? Yeah, make? it's not that. It's my not that nigga's at the door right now, and he's he's ready to put it in his hand. Thank you. Like, what arrangements are we talking about? Yeah, they may go. But on, I'm, I'm confused link. as to why he need the ring back. He doesn't like because they're anymore. they're not together. Oh, they broke up. They yeah, broke. they called off the engagement. He deserved that ring back. Uh, well, why the fuck Ooh, else would he? Here's a question though. A ring back if they didn't break up. Wait, what if they That's had gotten why I was married? Confused. Huh? What if they had gotten married? They're together for a year. He's fucked. That's her ring married, now. That's her ring. Mm, but because the whole thing was called off before, I'm gonna need that back. No, I feel I'm that. Getting out, I'm getting out. If nah. we're not together, and it's not like it's a promise ring or it's a birthday gift or something like that, it's an engagement ring. To if you get want, married. To exactly. get married. If y'all not getting married, why are you rocking? You're not a fiance. I'm, right. I yeah, need that that's back. That's a valid back. point too. You know what I'm saying? I need that back regardless if we splitting up a million dollars. Get the fuck out now, of here. Now, is Ben Simmons still looking for a date to his wedding? I mean, just like the rest of us, celebrities often experience the pain of heartbreak <laughs> within the within their romantic relationships. Unfortunately. For them, the drama is played out for the entire world to see. And and comment on most recently formally engaged couple, Maya Jama and Ben Simmons have been talked been of the talk of the town. 
Thanks. This is thanks to the astonishing $1 million engagement ring he surprised her with in December 2021. I'm going to need my ring back. And you are a bad one. Yeah, she is fine as hell. I ain't even going to oh, hold you. Oh, she look good. She is a bad one, but I'm going to still need my ring back along I, with that lipstick that I probably bought you too. Um, <laughs> you need the outfit? I'm going to need my outfit back. I'm going to need my lipstick I'm gonna back. Need that, I want the I'm going to need that, I'm I need that BBL back. back. I need that I'm BBL need back. I need all that back. In oh, the dog, he, I want it all. See, that's what girls you should... They should girls them. should get smart. Girls should get smart and... You know what I'm saying? It's get surgery or something like that. Don't get jewelry or shit like that. Right. You can't give back surgery. You can't give back surgery. I mean, so for an engagement? Ooh, that'd be wild, though. Some dude asked for implants back. Yeah, give, give me that BBL hey, back. Hey, give me them titties back. I'm going to need that. No, that's crazy. Can I have those titties back? Or if he just want his money back. Damn. You're going to have to get it back in if blood. If he invoice you? You're going to have to get it back in blood. <laughs> get it back <laughs> in blood. I'm interested to know why they broke up. Do we know that? Damn, you know what I'm saying? I, that's crazy. But what if you what if you breaking up? What if you get married and then you breaking up? I don't like the get married thing, and then y'all divorce, and then girls is asking for like some astonishing amount of money. That shit is wild to me for child support. That, that that's why. Hey, what did Kanye say? We, we want prenup. Come on, if you don't get that prenup situated, that's what you are. Putting, I mean, I heard I heard a lot of, a lot of girls like, oh well, if you want to break up with me and this and that and the other, like I have to live the same lifestyle that I was living before, just because you want to leave me with your kids and blah blah blah. I gotta live that same lifestyle. But do y'all think that's right? Like, do I if I leave you, I leave with all my shit and you gotta go do your thing. Like whatever lifestyle you finna live it, when I leave, that's you. I feel like I shouldn't have to pay for your lifestyle. If you dating a baller okay. and by the time y'all break up. If you haven't found a way to sustain that lifestyle, then bitch, you's a loser. But but with alimony, I like you want that. Me to, with alimony, you want me to pay for your lifestyle? I right? like that. What if in that time span she has spent the time supporting him, supporting the house, maybe raising kids, putting a lot of work in that wouldn't necessarily have monetary value attached to it? Then that also bitch needs to be. Point. She needs to be stashing something along them months every month. You stash a little something. Well, that's not going to be a trusting relationship. Yeah, so so, so <laughs> you're just, going behind your man's back and have a secret account. This is. This I mean, but that's where you don't get points for actually being a mother. You're supposed to do these things. Yeah. These are things you're supposed to be doing. You know, not supposed to. But be to be financially, like in, but for being a mother. No, but expecting a, a female to be financially independent or successful to go and do her own thing after a split. You're not taking into account all of the things that she had to do where she couldn't go and pursue those things. I mean, but not we're not Respo saying if that. We're hey, not hey, saying if responsibilities that. were split 50-50 down the middle, there is no complaint. But we're not saying yeah. that. But there you don't need the, that's you don't not need some the reality. Like crazy like amount of money to take care of the kids. It was just you were well, living it's your around kids. me. It's your kids. How well, do you want your kids to What if I take care live? of your home? What if I take care of your or your your car? What if I take care of their school, mm -hmm. medical, everything is paid for, you're good. But as far as what you're doing personally, yeah, as that far shouldn't as matter. like purses, no, clothes, that shouldn't and matter. Yeah, but, but that shit doesn't but, okay, that's so if take there's, into account, right? If yeah. there's a divorce, you would want at least like you'd want the 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 house that your kids are being raised in when you're not around to at least be well, when somewhat you bring, comparable, comparable, right? It is, for them. Yeah, but it when is, you bring somewhat kids comparable, because we talk, home. but we That's talk crazy. about two different yeah. scenarios. Because when it's kids involved, then absolutely a woman is owed that. But if we talking about just two people in a relationship and then they split up, and then the girl wants the guy to provide for her lifestyle after they done broke up. That's a different conversation. But so if you got kids, yeah, I crazy. still pro should, should provide for your lifestyle. If you but but here, here's the thing at the end of the yeah, day, no, at, 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 I'm talking about your actual lifestyle as far as what you want materialistically. No, 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 I'm not providing but your for that. children's no, your lifestyle. Children, yeah. My children's yes. lifestyle. Yeah. The, it, it goes on. Yes. And okay. they, they, they live comfortably. You feel me? Like, and then the car situation, they, they roll comfortably. Well, here, here, here's I, the thing. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, a marriage is a business arrangement. There's certain tax benefits that come with it. And if you don't have that figured out, what the dynamics are going to be like in the event that things fall apart, then you're subject to whatever the fuck the judge finna slap you with. And that's just the, that's just the way the cookie crumbles every single time so it's important beforehand to have those discussions and get things solidified i'm gonna let y'all know right now i was out here you know what i'm saying all my guys make sure you pay for it 
Make sure it comes out of your pocket. You pay for the lawyer. Your bank account. Make sure you pay for the school. Make sure you're paying all car notes. Make sure you're paying for the car. Make sure you're paying for these things. You feel me? Like, so, because that's the lifestyle that you're already paying for. If it just so happens you guys happen to break up, guess what? You're already paying those bills and you'll continue to just pay those bills. <laughs> you know what mm-hmm. I mean? As phone Phone, food, and all that, we can put that in there. You know what I'm saying? As far as but, 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 but it ain't gonna be much. But doesn't the judge like judge it based on how much like what your monthly overhead is? So if you have some of those bills in your wife's name, doesn't that mean that she might be res- res- financially responsible for your yeah, lifestyle? It does come with income, and, and people love to hide income. That's what I'm saying. And the people love to, you know what I'm saying? People can hide income and you know what I'm saying there's a lot of expenses with a lot of things that he or she may be doing. So you got to take all those things to account in account. So she may be looking at like, oh, he make a million dollars a month. But like the judge looking at it like, no, he don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> he make 10,000, girl. You make 1,500. You know what I'm saying? You know that nigga, the dude with 30 kids? The dude with 30 kids. They took that man to get on child support. Nick Cannon? Not kidding, Nick Cannon, but the young man with 30 kids, they went and took him, to, um, put him on child support, and he had to pay them $84. Amazing. $84. I mean, but it is his income, though. $84? Times 30. $84. Right? Times 30. So each I think kid. it was only like five of them, though. Oh. Five, six of them. I, think. I mean, I don't know the number of them, but I think he only had to pay like $84 a month, if I'm Damn. not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. 30 and five is a big gap. That's crazy. Well, maybe some of them are over 18, probably. That's why. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't even worry about nothing. Man with 30 kids has to pay $84 in child support. I mean, if, if I, if I, that fool got some swimmers, apparently, huh? I mean, he's just going crazy. He got some swimmers. Yeah. If I meet a baller today, okay, and he breaking me off, okay, I'm getting bags and all this type of shit, okay, and we together for 12 months, yeah. If I ain't like did some smart shit and Invested Invest into something money. somewhere, then I'm the fool. You the fool, but I, 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 I'm gonna secretly buy some property or something. I grew Why up, I gotta be secretly? secretly. It don't thing. have to be secretly, but I'm gonna do it. Like, hey, babe, like I, I know you bought me this Chanel purse, but I really would like to get an apartment building so I can have something that's, that's making not money. happening. You know, I don't know where girls think this shit is. They Why? looking at the girl, the internet, but that shit is not happening. A nigga rather buy you a purse and some materialistic shit before they even give you some money to invest in to do any of those things. You don't see girls out here talking about I got property. Like, niggas ain't finna give y'all no money. I don't even know. A, a lot of, like, 90% of dudes out here ain't finna give you no money. I'm talking about the internet. I mean, you can the, look I'm on the internet. The niggas that's doing it, though. The, if you doing it, if you look at a nigga that's in. doing it, and you see his girlfriend, all you see her with is the fits. Am what? I right or not? Maybe a whip. She might the have a whip. whip. And you gonna be like, ooh, she dressed fly. So you think just because we not seeing it, that mean it don't exist? It ain't. It ain't. It don't. Because they would have showed it. Because these bitches is wild. They on the court. No, nah, these bitches got boutiques. They selling hair. They selling. Okay, we might go boutique. Yep. They got they I got mean, beauty shops. They might, you might do that. I mean, if a nigga give you $10, beauty 20, bars. 000, that that's also you know if, what I'm saying if, they invest. That's also if homie want to watch some money too. What's up, baby? It's a good investment. No, he did it. <laughs> okay. Aww. She's like, you know stop, saying? stop talking about when my divorce. baby. Pick up, you know what I mean? Say she call, you know, man. I pick up. Don't yeah. worry about nothing. But yeah, man. I mean, they do be, they do be giving them boutiques. See, you know, okay. I'm, I ain't hating. But niggas be, it, niggas be, um, niggas got a uh, drug dealer. Niggas want to clean their money. Yeah. Where they Go at? ahead, get that boutique. Go Follow ahead. me. Go ahead, get that boutique. You know what I'm saying? Get this nigga. He You're not in the nigga. camera. Hey, there this, you go. This a main nigga that be tricking right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we come right on in here. Hey, my nigga. Hey. She said she going to take niggas' money and go buy some apartment buildings. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on, man. You know what I mean? I mean, how much money you think niggas is giving you? If they buying them, if, if they buying four and five Chanel bags. Okay. What's the minimum for a Chanel bag? Like Birkin five thousand, right? Birkin, let's go Birkin bag. minimum. Yeah, so bare let's, minimum. Let's go Birkin bag. If you multiply thirty racks, you multiply that by four. You going to buy you some apartment? Building. I'm going to get an apartment building. <laughs> 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 I 
Look, yes or no, you know what I'm saying? Even in the chat, have y'all seen anybody on, in this <laughs> chat, basketball player, NFL player, uh, soccer player, any of these girlfriends, any of these wives, have y'all ever seen them like, oh, I got some property. Look, look at this, what I did, and this and that. You're not going, I, I no, you're of, not going, no, you're not going no further than a boutique or selling hair. I, I, can, th I can think of one example, and, yeah. I, and I don't know exactly what she did, yeah. but I know that, remember when Gucci got locked up and he gave... Uh, yeah. He he gave, KR? Yeah, he gave her like a couple million or some shit. Is that right? That's and, what they told you. And then she tripled up. That's what he told. That's what they told. That's you. that's the folklore. Is that right? You don't believe it? No. You don't. What believe you think it? she did with it? I believe it. Uh, Why not? I was. I mean, what was y'all buying when he was in jail? <laughs> what was y'all? <laughs> like, no, come on, come on. <laughs> what was y'all buying and what was y'all doing when Gucci was in jail? What was y'all doing? Hey, she came. Was y'all hollering, Keisha Gale? That, that Where is, we didn't know who she was. I was young. I was we too young to even understand what was We didn't know who she was. Look, what she, she did came was, up, all I know is that fool came home to a bag. down until he got out. He got the bridge. Now she up. Now the, she still got her little business and she doing her thing. She was supposed to stay loyal. Mm -hmm. She, You know what I'm saying? But she, she got, got a business. A, and she, yep, she still got a business, but we ain't saying, oh, this business is lucrative in May 10, and he got out in jail, and he quadrupled this. Stop it. I'm not listening to none <laughs> that, of that. That's Sorry. the folklore. I'm that gonna is the folklore. I'm going to buy a studio. I'm going to do something. Pay what my student. Got, okay. Ooh, hey, pay this my is student a, this loans is a, off. This is crazy right here. This is a crazy um topic right here, because I've been wondering. I'm trying to pause. I'm trying to touch on you. Pause. Whoa. whoa. What are you trying pause, to touch pause. on? I'm trying Why? to touch on YSL co-founder <laughs> co Mondo claims DA Fanny Fanny Willis used to be his lawyer. Okay, hold on. This is this man's first of all, YSL co-founder. Why are you not in jail? They said he they said Young Thug is the co-founder of YSL. Am I correct or not? Correct. This Whoa. man saying he's the co-founder. Y'all don't got the y'all don't got to take nobody to trial. <laughs> this nigga, this, he said he the co-founder. What the fuck is he on trial for? Wait, okay, what did he say? What is the rest of the, the text? That is wild as fuck that right there. That shit sounds stupid. During a recent interview with the Ugly Money podcast, the YSL co-founder revealed that Fanny Will Willis was once his defense attorney. Prior to landing a gig as the DA in Fulton County, Georgia, she represented Mondo, who wasn't indicted in the RICO case, as in, so he wasn't indicted for whatever reason. Additionally, Mondo said that there's plenty of information publicly available to back up his claims. However, he said that Fanny Willis ultimately switched sides immediately after representing him he also shot down rumors that she'd be able to use information gained during his tenure as mondo's attorney against the other ysl members despite being a co-founder of ysl bondo was never indicted as part of the rico case however he stated that ysl is not a gang elsewhere in the interview okay we got two things this is a conflict of interest and they need to let thug out right the fuck now sounds like a mistrial to me this is this they sound need to write, like okay. this sound like that's, some type of revenge to me. They need to let him out right now. This sounds like revenge to me. That sounds or, like a mistrial or, to me. Yeah, or that, that that's a plan. Like, okay, you go on there, say this was your lawyer, blah blah blah. Hopefully, we get a mistrial. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Or number two, you told this lady everything. It sounds like she on some revengeful type shit. Well, if she was over there and now she on the other side. Well, he, apparently he was. So the way I read that is. He, she was one of his last, he was one of her last clients. Uh huh. And then shortly thereafter, she, she wound went after up, YSL. Yeah, that doesn't. <laughs> hey, bro. That's what happened. You either told everything. We don't we, know. We don't know the amount of time yeah, between him know. representing her, her representing him to her being on this it case. It could have been. But that's what I'm saying. You could have you know, represent me, but you my lawyer. I tell my lawyer everything. Like hell yeah. No, 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 no. That's no. what I'm saying. Was it a falling out? Shit, like bro, right, right, right. I pop right. Boy, all, right. Your lawyer, I'll be like, bro, tell me the confidentiality. Truth so get, yeah, so I can tell, so I can see what I'm gonna uh, how I'm gonna go at this case. And I'm like, man, mm -hmm. I popped a nigga over there, but holla, I came. Don't worry, catch me out, and you'll be taken care of. My lawyer. Lawyer know everything, bro. That shit right. sound crazy. Now, now, did they have a falling out? That, that what's it, going it does, on? It doesn't say that. But That's what I'm saying. It sounds like some like revengeful type shit. Regardless, it could be even if it isn't, it could be painted that way. And if there's any information that she's using, which she supposedly gained in confidence as his counsel, 
then that then she could let be, me out of jail. Yeah, let me out of jail, Today. and yeah. and you're gonna yeah. be liable. Let me out. You of could jail. be now. You could be prosecuted. This is this is a whole thing. He's and probably, you could be sued for lost wages and all why different kinds just, of shit. Like, why would he just out of nowhere go in an interview like, look, bro, I'm the founder. I did it, and I'm not in jail. I ain't in jail, and I and used to be, my, used to be lawyer. my lawyer. But why did he take right, so I'm long? Like, I'm like, why did he right, wait so long to say that? The doubt. Maybe it's for clout, or maybe, you know, Thug and them called him like, hey, we need you on this one. Is there a reason why he waited so long to actually come out the woodwork with that? That's yeah, the pretty... trial finna go down. It's finna happen. It's happening. You know what I'm saying? We need you to do something. We need something in there, man. We gonna throw this, a wrench in this that shit. That could have been this really like, done, a done in, in a, a no, really no. strategic way. Like, they wait until there's enough evidence or whatever's gone by. Then now it's like, boom. This like, this like Proctor working with Angela Valdez. I mean, yeah. That's what this is. I mean, except this ain't yeah. TV. <laughs> <laughs> we know what the route is. You know what I'm saying? We knew my boy was finna get R.I.P. Ghost. This shit better than TV. Shit, bro. Nah, this is, this is people's lives, bro. Loop, this is it's a loop twist and turn at every moment of this shit. It's, so hold it's on. just not cool that that thug's whole entire freedom well, and Let's existence. break this down, though. So Fannie Willis was protecting gangsters at one point. She was protecting them. And now she against them. Now she against them. They're not gangsters. They're just a record label. So she was a defense attorney. It sound I looked it up. She was elected. I, the D is an elected position. So she was working as a defense attorney. She was elected to the the, the DA. She but said, one of the first things she does as DA is go after YSL, who she was just potentially. So it was that. Like what, what was the what was the time? Well, it was like a year. She was elected. That's still that's in like very uh, soon. Bro. Early twenty twenty one. That's very soon. You going? You can after... tell that she's been building this case probably since she was elected. Mistrial. Get the fuck out of here, free. It thug. doesn't look good. You're going at the Miss same trial. people who you were defending. Wow. Gunner didn't even need to cooperate. He could have just fucking sat tight for a few more months. Damn, Gunner, you just had to just sit tight. He wanted to go home. This wait also, this he also sounds. To go home. When you in there, I ain't gonna lie. When you in jail, you like you want to go home. Get, they gonna get me for life. I know they is. I'm yeah. gonna go down because I did X, Y, and Z. And if they catch this, it's out. I'm it's, done. Bail me out, please. Hello, bail me out. I want to come home, <laughs> especially if you're not. When you out, you feel comfortable. You feel me? Even though they still can catch you for whatever the fuck you did, it, but when you in there, you are done. Especially if you're not accustomed to being locked up. If yeah, you, if you're like, not like I know used he to probably like bitch. I need to go to the house. Hum, what's the deal? Okay, for sure. I ain't got what I ain't. I ain't saying nobody name or nothing like that. But they gonna still kind of get me for snitching. Fuck it. All right, fuck this shit. I'm gone. Like I'm getting up out of here. He could have waited it out though, man. He Apparently, because he can't take this, it back now. I don't know. What, this what? is bad for bad for them. Great for YSL. Yeah, this is great for YSL. I think you feel me. I hope. I thought I was. I'm being kind of negative about it, but it could be strategic. But it still could kind of be negative though. On on the same note. But it, Mondo does say that she's not able to use any of this information. Of course she's not. Of course she's going to say that because she knows she's not able to, but that doesn't mean that there's not certain things. But it seemed like there's... She obtained in confidence. Things that she knows about that she's um, attempting to prove to be fact without her for her account of things. Right, but and she wouldn't have known to even go in those directions exactly. if she didn't have prior knowledge. I forget um, what the exact situation was, but it was something like, well, like a rental car or something. And supposedly, like, they had yep. created some paperwork to make it look real, but the people ended up confessing to it because of the fake paper. I forget exactly and what there, it was. Don't quote me. I think there's, that's where the guns were found in the car. It was something like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it's things that she probably does know about, and she just had to make it, prove it. I'm a little confused as to why Mondo was never indicted as part of the RICO case, if you're a co-founder of YSL. The founder. <laughs> yeah, what did you? What it doesn't have, you like say the founder? Nigga. Yeah, that shit don't say cold nothing, nigga. I did this, so they should be picking his ass up now. He looked young as hell too. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? We, free the free, free Jeff, the, free King Slime, free the free the homie, man. I don't even know that nigga, but shit, free that nigga. He's definitely the homie, even if I never met this him. This is this is you know what I'm saying. This is great too, man. On another note, uh, if you are a Twitch streamer. Twitch, you know, has been cracking down on a lot of stuff. YouTube has been cracking down on a lot of stuff too. You feel me? But what happened last night with with uh, back on Fig and iHeart? Wasn't there like some? Uh, yeah, iHeart. I, I have played some stuff with uh, DJ Head and um, 
Uh, what's that nigga name that said his uh, he like his? Did brother, they claim you, brother? Uh, dick this long. What the fuck? <laughs> Did they claim you? They 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 cut my hole. They blocked me. They didn't claim me. They was like uh, blocked this shit from every stream and sorry. Kevin you was, Gates. Oh, Kevin, Kevin Gates. Gates yeah. DJ head. Yeah. He was like get off me. I was reacting to it funny. You know what I'm saying with Matt Guava and Smack like. Oh, Punch you head, you feel me? But they cut my <laughs> shit all the way off of that shit. That's Dude, re- fucked up. Reactions are tough. You really can't use more than like three or five seconds, like mm, continuously. I use the whole thirty seconds. Yeah, you can't do that. You got to like stop it, give your perspective, interjection. That like, oh, you can't just play a whole clip, especially if it's more than like five, ten seconds. You're done. I was running through the clip trying yeah. to find the whole little thing with the shit, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I, I it's back on. Don't don't worry about nothing. I That's heard good. that situation had almost went. What? What the hell are you talking about? What? Back on uh, Gina over here talking to herself. But Aiden Ross, you know what I'm saying? Wants to, you okay? Uh, Aiden Ross wants Twitch to ban hot tub streams. I mean, how do you not ban hot tub streams? Why and does you're he banning more? everything else from Twitch? That just makes no sense. You're, what is a hot tub? Like you're partially like? naked. I mean, that's just you. So like. Twitch, the streamers figured out a couple of years ago to get around like Twitch guidelines. You couldn't be, you couldn't stream in your underwear but you could stream in a bathing suit. Then you couldn't stream in a bathing suit unless you were swimming or like in a pool what? or whatever, unless like it called for having a bathing suit. So it was really an excuse for girls to get, you know, in bikinis or whatever and stream that way. So they'll film their self streaming, playing a game or whatever. To a bunch to of 13 year old yeah, boys. And most Ooh, of these female streamers, they're not usually even game playing. They're just like talking to the audience, mm-hmm. reacting, writing their followers' names all over their bodies, like for, you know, followers and stuff. They'll do some wild stuff, but they're pretty predictable. And there's just like this massive genre of, a lot of them are OnlyFans girls. A lot of them are uh, other girls just finding ways to try to promote their other channels through Twitch. But it's interesting to hear that Aiden Ross would be against this because I think he has a lot of fans, friends maybe in this space. Oh, I don't know why. I got no friends and no fans, no no friends in this space. Then y'all cut me off from everything. Y'all basically taking money out of my mouth for everything I do. Like I can't even curse on this shit. Like, I don't know why like, he why he tripping like that. It's kind of weird. Cuz he listen. I mean, don't hate on me. I'm finna hate on everybody. Speak up for me then. Cuz equality. Even, those girls and whoever Twitch, doing that should be speaking up. I believe him. heavily. Cuz he is um, one of the you know, I saw one person that Facts. um lost a lot of money to to gambling. You guys banned gambling. You guys moved on it quick. I think we have a problem, Twitch. I think there's the hot tub streams, bro. I think it's it should be banned from Twitch. I think hot tub streaming should be banned from Twitch. Yeah. So he's man. comparing this to the gambling because that was a big deal too that they took all the gambling streamers off of Twitch. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's a big deal though. Is, is it, a, and is this mainly because of two things? One, sponsorship revenue, and two, because it's a predominantly teenage underage audience? Yeah, and I think that the focus of gambling being the message and it being considered such like a gray area of how heavily do you want to promote something that is, you know, addictive and, you know, can you promote all these things without also giving the warnings like alcohol does? All of these things where oh well. these streamers, and again, not, not all the money was legit, and these guys are saying, hey, come to this website, um, play these games, blah, 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 and they were getting fronted all the money to do it by the websites. Then the websites were taking these other people's money, so there's a lot of like scams involved as well. They ended up just outlawing the gambling streams on Twitch. Like that shit that Drake was a Poker, part of? The Drake streams, where he's doing yeah. those online casinos, the roulette yeah. wheels, blackjack, stuff like that, where he's gambling million-dollar hands and stuff like that. But it wasn't really his money. They blocked that? Yeah. What? And a lot of those sites aren't, like, legal to use in the U.S., too. So you're using uh, VPNs to get around them. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, it was a lot of gray area. So they cut that, and I think that's what Ian's just responding to here. I don't know. You're, you know, it's, 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 it's soft porn. Uh, it's a portal to OnlyFans. And, 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 you know, a portal it's the same, to OnlyFans. It's in the same category. That's what I was talking about. It's mostly these OnlyFans girls just promoting themselves. So, um, hey... Check me out here. You can join my Discord, join my Reddit, and then they provide links to like their OnlyFans and stuff. So I need to hop on Twitch is what you're It's gambling, right? Yes. Because it's it's promoting poison, uh, you know what I'm saying, in the brain, and it's 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 making people addicted to to uh, it's feeding their addiction to, uh. to to jerking off, which is a serious problem we have. You know, um, I'm gonna flat out say it. I don't care who who agrees, who doesn't agree, but. It, it's just a fact, in my opinion. 
gonna flat out and say it, bro. Uh, so hot tub le streams leads to jerking off, and that's the problem. This feels bugging. And, and porn is an, and this feels very addictive. red pill now. And, yeah. and then wait, is that porn is a very high, highly addictive thing to? Uh, but th that's true. That that is true. I mean, so I mean, do you wanna you, do you wanna like sell that to your your kids and the fans? There's an audience that's watching non sexual things and jerking off to them. I mean, being in a bikini, if you're like a teenage boy and you see like a chick in a bikini, you might that might be spank worthy. So bring whole fashions to no jumpers, what y'all saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> you running around in black leather? I mean, there's somebody out here that's burnt out uh, in the chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's scary, bro. Like, put me on the phone, get a couch. Hey, there's it's a but there's a girl playing. in hey, there's a girl in a nightgown or whatever right there to the right down. Mm -mm -mm. It's just a sweater, I think. But yeah, but her, but her year in the means is you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they out of there. What you about Shorty right there? She doing the darn thing. What oh, what's that right there? What is, is this bitch doing? doing? What? Oh, she organizing. Is she naked or is that close? She, nah. No, she's just holding her shoulder. But yeah, we were all thinking the same thing. Bro, that's wild. Oh, she organizing. Okay, stuff. shame on him. I, I feel, I feel what Aiden Ross is saying though, man. They don't put but why? On Be, me. Because it's kids I mean, watching. Put, like, it, what, it's what's nudity? Uh, Y'all cancel that shit then. There's not. There is no nudity. Twitch is like pretty big on that. Partial? but it's like yeah, it's partial and it's like intentionally walking on. Yes. Look at these thumbnails. That's what I'm saying. You can and look see at cleavage. all of these other streamers that are not in the hot tub right now that are also incentivized to kind of do the same thing. They're all showing cleavage. They're all, all showing. Like, so where do you draw the line now? You don't, because then they're they're just gonna head over to Twitter. They wearing push up. If they want to, if they want to find doing it up, that looks explicit. like explicit. Don't you zoom me? I was gonna say zoom me right there. That is Kazumi. Oh, Shout Bilu, out to Kazumi. Bilu. Reaction to Bilu. I want to get Bilu in here, man. Wait, Tell Bilu, y'all go to Bilu, no. man. See what it do. Tell him I want to get him in here for an interview, man. Get my boy Bilu in here, bro. He came on my stream one day. Just for like two seconds. Yeah, oh, I yeah, don't think man. abandoning is going to save the world. I, I, I think that seems... I, I think that... I don't really think Aiden Ross cares. I think he's using it to illustrate a, a greater point. And he probably just wants Twitch to really just keep that same energy. Do you think he really cares about? I think he all misses all of those gambling sponsorship yeah, it, exactly. dollars. Exactly, and that's what he's really mm. pissed about—is like have that same energy. He's calling out the hypocrisy. He don't care about jerking off. No, mm -hmm. I don't think so either. Was crazy. They was they was giving him a quarter, a half, and, and, a, and a half, and they was paying for travel. Shit. Oh, they just cut it short on my boy. His Fetty got whopped. You know what I'm good. saying? What we got next? We got Lil Uzi Vert shows off his new hairstyle and his face piercing. Do he, we care? He yeah. got the, he got the little emo joint going on. I don't give a <laughs> shit about what Lil Uzi is doing with his hair and his piercings. That's Lil Uzi. He Let him like, be him. You know what? That that's 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 the Pete Wentz from Fallout Boy. Okay, every the time, Pete Wentz. Every time he, Uzi gets a new hairstyle or gets a new piercing, he makes headlines. Why do we give a fuck? That shit changes his entire face, this hairstyle. Look how many likes that post got. Because it ain't your, like, traditional rapper thing. You feel me? That's not even that many likes for him. That's not your traditional... Oh, that's on No Jumper. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is, this, like, this is his tra traditional... This is not a traditional rapper thing. You At I've all. Seen but he never is, he's really. A, he's a rock star. Yeah, I saw this the, everywhere right. when he posted the selfie. He got the Rolling Stones logo on his uh, little scully he's wearing. Damn! Whoa! <laughs> nah, Lush is right. This screams Fall Out Boy. Not yeah, one hundred percent. That's Pete Wentz, right? Y'all yeah. can't tell me y'all not listening to that shit. I just want to rock. I just want to rock. <laughs> Why sorry, is that I'm song cracking. still so hard? Whoa! That's all he say. I, he says nothing in it, but it still hits. That's the Fall Out Boy song. No, the new Uzi song. Man, you know that Uzi song, girl. Stop playing. Whoa! I'm not hip. You not hip. You not that hip. She she's very oh, you're West. Not Gina views. She no, ain't got the Gina, views, Gina no views. Gina views is very tapped in with the she LA. She ain't tapped into that. That's if, viral. If it's the LA shit, Gina on the. You've heard edge. it, Gina. That's you, number you one. Sure I've probably heard it. I'm not gonna play it on the stream, but you've heard it. But yeah, East, they cut my stream off of that too. Stuff, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you if you care about it, you gonna. Oh, listen. New Year's they yeah. cut that shit. But short. you're not gonna listen to all the East Coast shit. Stop it, boy! You ain't playing that. No, if you want to play music, you got to get on Twitch though. 
Yeah. 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 yeah because it doesn't, because it, um, it, it like especially if you don't leave it on as VOD, if it's yeah. just a live stream, mm -hmm. you straight. And even if you leave it on as a VOD, it'll just mute it. So yeah, I don't like this type of slander though, man. Like DJ Jazzy Jeff does like super. He, I don't know if he does it anymore. He was doing like really dope live mixes. Oh no, DJs used to do like I think it's still a pretty big section where they have DJ sets and they just go nuts. But they're able to play all this music without really any issues. Yeah, but then it will eventually get. Um, I guess the monetization it gets affected on the VODs when it's um, when people copyright claim it. Hey, this next topic is really a hey. Lot this of one hits it hits close to home for you, doesn't yeah, it's, it? It's, it's, it's slander. It's, it's slander. slander. You don't think <laughs> it's slander? You think they're after Elon? They slander in us right now. From, uh, footage of self-driving Tesla vehicle allegedly on a full self-driving allegedly. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this shit could have just died. You know what I mean? Like this battery power, anything can happen. You, you can run out of gas and this can happen to you. So don't just start blaming Tesla and all the whole little shit. You feel me? Allegedly, full self driving that caused an eight car crash pile up in San Francisco in November. You know what I'm saying? Look, check this out, man. Stop slandering Tesla because Tesla is one of the best cars right now. In the United States of America, like I have a Tesla, I haven't been to the gas station in the last two years. Thank you. That's it right there. Yep. Boo. That fool's retarded. The, the people that's driving is retarded. The people Stop. that's driving is retarded. Stop. Because for number one, he had his blinker on. So tell me how self driving works. Can you not hit the gas or like take over from self driving? Self driving is definitely in Mercedes. Uh -huh. Self-driving is it, uh, the first self-driving thing I seen. Well, like self-driving, well, parking itself was in a Lexus. And I think that was like a, a ES four hundred or something like that. I remember that years back. But yeah, if you touch the brake, you cancel everything. You you so so well. Matter of fact, yeah, if you touch the brake, it's it's over for you. You know what I mean? You cancel out everything. You feel me? Everything cuts off. But you just gotta boop 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 boop. You know what I'm saying? Let it and let it roll, and it's doing its thing. That shit stop, start, do all the whole, it turn, do all the whole little shit for you. Don't worry about nothing. Put the address in, and you good. Mm -hmm. So you what? Feel me? So it didn't look like that was 100. percent nah. that's not. I don't think. I don't feel like that was that car's fault. Like I, I feel like that's just a. Uh, it, it did slow. It did slow down problem. like a motherfucker. Maybe he had to put the blinker on too. He had the blinker yeah. on. Maybe the car that the initial car that hit the Tesla probably could have been paying a little bit more close attention. But all them other cars, y'all just all just kept hitting, piling up, piling up. This piling storyline up. is just so crazy. That's yeah, not because of the fucking Tesla. Well, well He's stopping like, come on, dog. Were we watching that? Was that clip in real time? Because if it was slowed down, it might have been a little different. Let's see it again. Let's watch it again. Let's do some investigation here. It's the Bay Bridge. There's no traffic. Fools are going like 55. Okay. This looks like it's slowed down, no? Look at the second. It's it's real time. Right here. Oh, you pulling yeah, over. Yeah, you pulling right over. You proceeded to hit me. Yeah. And then you're not fucking paying attention. The truck behind that truck. I'm sorry, but there's no way that you should ever be pulling over to the left and slowing down. That's no circumstance. So, like, that car, so if it was So you're going to stay in the middle? No, no, no. You go to the right. Yeah. You go to the right to slow down. Why is he He's, pulling? He, he was closer to the left, so Be why not? And the car had the directions the on the left. That's the fast lane, though. It was, so what I'm thinking is, if it was yeah, on self-driving, this shit just kind of fucked up there in the moment, trying to go left. Well, if Couldn't he's on, this, it's not going to tell you, like, oh, bro, well, I'm going to shut this bitch down. Like, the car is not going to tell you that. So he probably like, what the fuck is going on? Like, something was happening get to in the his car lane. to where he had to put that blinker right. on and he had to pull over. But nobody in their sense is going to go to the left. If Bro, your car's bring down, you're going to the right. He's in the diamond lane, t But he's closer to that lane. He's, That's but, probably why he went But over you there. can't pull over anywhere. All right, we're, let's, go, let's go back. Let's see if he was able to go to the right. Fuck no. Just watch the car. It goes from this lane to this lane. He should have never gone on this way. But even if still, he would have been caught in that middle lane. He would have been. He would have been. It still would have been the same thing. And he's and he started going slow. Let me go over here to the, the side. You feel me? Yeah, That's, he was already over there. He could have made it over there. There's no way he's making it way over to the right. Like he not he not doing that. Boom. boom. That means but you you're still attention. you're still driving too boom. fast for somebody that's attention. coming boom. over boom. to boom. the boom. 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 Oh. Boom. boom. They boom. just not paying attention. Yeah, they and they not paying attention. So the everybody bear. start paying attention after the six car pileups. Does that mean you six cars 
could have stopped. Yeah, but, they could have. St- they could have stopped after the first car. It's it, it's the who's still driving that fast when somebody's getting in front of bro, you. It's the Bay Area. Everybody. It's the Bay Area. They're all smoking za and their whips, and this is what happens. They're I mean, high as fuck. No, One, white people two, got road three, rage. Four, five, I know when six, Josh get in his truck, he seven, got road rage. Eight. You think white people are the worst road ragers? Yeah, white people are the are the worst road ragers ever. For real, they honk, they horn, they flick you Fuck off. Fuck you! They look crazy. Like, like they, y'all, y'all the worst road rager ever. Like we not, we don't road rage like that. I only that. had like, crazy road rage with black move, people. Move, bitch, go, go. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I only had crazy road rage with black people. Niggas be driving crazy. Are you around a lot of black people? You feel really? me? I've, I've had pistols pulled out. Y'all seen the movie Road Rage? Road rage. Yeah, I've when seen he chased, that he chased the bitch all day. I had a nigga spit at my car, homie. A white man. I, I've had people my throw girl, cans. My I've homegirl had a throw pennies at people. Me. I'm like, bro, I'm finna dump him mm-hmm. out. <laughs> my homegirl goes straight in the uh, in the cup holder and th- start launching but pennies at niggas in traffic. I will say, oh my god, the most the most, the most frequent Texas. the most frequent road ragers that I've encountered are definitely white people. Yeah, they they white dog. I'm telling you. And then when you get on the side of them, they be like, but the most turned they don't up, even look at you. <laughs> Hell no. The most turned up road rager I've ever had was a black person, but the the most frequent are white people. This is a crazy. I, I was get somebody was honking the horn at me, crazy all up my bumper. Blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, watch when I get on side of this motherfucker. I'm gonna tear this nigga up, right? Boom, nigga, get up on side of me. Little ass white old lady, I'm talking about. She had a little gray <laughs> afro, and <laughs> she just was just like looking. I was like, this, "You old mother!" I was like, "I ain't leave her alone." She was too old. I was like, "That's funny though." Know? Like you getting that niggas like that. I ain't ever getting out the whip. Old people should definitely need to get their license reevaluated at a certain point, which they do. I mean, if you can hop in a car and drive, man, do your thing. I mean, what you gonna do? Vision. Are you supposed to be driving 35 anyway? Vision. Everybody, everybody uh, going over the speed limit. Everybody. Vision being coherent. Do you use autopilot? I sure don't. I don't trust autopilot. I don't. I, uh, There's I a barely, very good reason not to. I barely trust the reverse. That camera. is fake. I don't. We don't. We don't know if that's autopilot, and if it is, we don't know what the fuck. We don't. I don't. I mean, know with why Teslas, with the they have all this computer information. I think they're able to figure out if there's a malfunction. Or and not. if this happened really, in November, I'm sure so they. It didn't say. <laughs> this happened in November. They should have did allegedly. an investigation already. They probably know exactly what happened by now, because it's old. Oh Tesla, it had a it had a malfunction with the autopilot. They hating cause y'all, you know what I'm saying? Nobody don't want them weak ass whips y'all selling. Like who wanna who want all of that shit? I don't wanna go to the gas station. Gas ten dollars. You know what I mean? It's rich nigga. Eggs is twelve dollars. Look at you a rich I mean? nigga. Look at him. No, it's because you niggas should have Wait, so what on you buy? Wave. What you get in instead of eggs? I'm going to buy the eggs at Costco now. I'm giving y'all the secret. Go to Costco, you know what I'm saying, and get your eggs. Don't go to the Ralph's. Don't go to none of this shit because eggs is $13. What about Air One? I know I, I know Heather like to go to Air One, right? No, we not going. We go to Air One to Sicy. <laughs> like, I'm not buying nothing. It's looking really nice in there. The vibe is uh, immaculate. But buying shit in there is ridiculous. Like, I'm not going in there to do none of that shit. Tesla yeah. is not resp- I don't think Tesla responsible for the car crash. I think Tesla responsible for the malfunction, but I think people not paying attention is why them cars piled up like that. Okay, so what happens they when have the car- to be- what, what happens when a car runs out of gas on the freeway? <sighs> That's user neglect. They like the, the thing is this, they they have to be impeccable. If it's a self-driving car, it's yeah. got to be so there's nothing that can go wrong. Yeah. If there's about to be an accident, that should need to take off. So y'all fly, know this go 20 feet away and that motherfucker need to turn into a transformer. Yeah. So y'all know like the the world is turning into technology. They rather have a user, they rather have the technology malfunction than the user neglect. You know what I'm saying? The actual humans doing some bullshit like running out of gas. I still and having trust. actual common sense. So you know a lot of robots is going to take a lot of jobs cuz niggas is fucking dumb. So you know what I mean? So I mean, you see, I'd rather take a Tesla. They're not going to be drivers. You know what? As sense. as advanced as the, all this new technology is, until AI programs can properly draw the human hand, they are not smarter than human beings. So, the, so AI programming can 
probably pro- probably have you ever seen you never seen those ai drawings and shit where the hands like you ever like you know what i'm talking about ai drawings yeah okay ai drawings so they can't draw a hand they have a really hard time for some reason to draw a hand yeah they're like their thing fing- there's always like extra fingers or they look distorted sometimes feet did you, did you not notice that josh no, I've seen those. Yeah, it's like I don't know what it is. They can get everything else perfectly, but they have a really hard time with hands, sometimes toes too. So no robots. I, I think the more we rely on technology, the more in danger humanity. The is going dumber to be. we are, and then it's going to be if fucking. You think about it right now. Skynet. If Terminator you lose your 2? phone today and you can't replace your phone, how you get? What if places? they put the chip in your head and you just automatically smart as hell? You know every language. They ain't chipping me. And you know all of the whole little shit. If I if, if they can if they can put a chip in my head to make me more intelligent, yeah. that mean they can put a chip in my head to make me change who the fuck I am. I mean that will change who the fuck you are, right? That, like, I mean, in and of itself. I feel like they can oh, so control me. Down? I'm a puppet. No. <laughs> <laughs> you calling her dumb? That means they no, can essentially I mean. turn you into a puppet. I mean, yeah. Remember, yeah. remember how everything was just down when Instagram dropped. We couldn't even post on Instagram no more. It was just like the world damn near stopped. Everybody How was on Twitter. The world stopped. Hey, we used to be able My to go to stopped. we used to be able to go to the <laughs> airport. If the homies landing in town or whatever at LAX, we used to be able to go there and pick them up and not have to speak several times on the phone to coordinate. Would it. you rather have a would you want a chip in your head so you could be the most intelligent you can be and know every single language, know every part of history, no. know everything. Google, you like you're a human. Google, you. Want, I know want Josh's every, answer. W- would you want that? No. No. Hell no. Why? Because if 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 they can give give me something, let's just say they didn't do. My, let's just say they didn't do that. If so, what's the chip for? You just speak every language. I want to go and speak Spanish and go, you know, speak French. It's French, and you know, I want to move around and. You're, you're basically what if saying. What What if you say they put the chip in your head? I can go speak Japanese right now. Boom! I go to Japan. So you say you can up, get you know the chip. Do some exchange real quick. You know what I'm saying? And get it going. You can get the chip and gain knowledge that you never had. Yeah. So you're not taught. You know how people learn different languages and stuff like that. You just get the chip in your head. Boop, you automatically just, had this without any without brain. any lessons or anything. This is gonna it's prove gone. Gina's point. No, no, no. But Gina, very Gina, much so, Daddy. <laughs> Gina, what what if you're okay? You get that right, and then you have a business meeting, and now you know exactly what to say to finesse a stupid bag. But what Gina's saying is, they were able to put information in your head that you didn't learn it. You don't have the ability to learn it. This was just put there. Therefore, what would stop them from putting any other type of information? Exactly. Of course, no, I get it. Well? I get what the, would stop them from just I, being but I the say, potential I drawbacks? Hypothetically, thinking they didn't do that. Well, if they, if they put in my, what, it, then it's straight. What if they yeah. put in my, in my in my head to come to a mass shooting and no jumper? Why would they do that? Let's just speak positive. You seen Why the man? Why want a mass shooting? No you seen jumper. a man? Like, what is it called? The Mandarinian candidate. When yeah. they yeah. made him, they put the chip in his head, made him run for president, and then he yeah. took everybody down. Yeah. Okay, so you will never be a mass shooter. We can't give to, so that means chips is out because we can't fucking give less chips because he gonna fucking <laughs> kill everybody on if the red. I will be a mass shooter <laughs> if there's anyone on this couch. Through the damn phone the and kill if everybody there's on the anyone <laughs> on this couch that will be a mass shooter, it's definitely the Caucasian DNA strand. Absolutely. Come on, let's keep it a stack out here. Let's talk about uh, ex boyfriends and ex girlfriends having heartbreak and removing tattoos. Skeet Davidson seemingly gets tats dedicated to Kim removed. Well, guess what, buddy? You should have never had that shit. I get it. That's why I'm, I was so small. I'm sure the cat was amazing that and was all that. Be, that she's, you know, she's removed. she's an all time great, but. You got another man's kids tatted on you. It's very disrespectful. So inevitably, this is gonna the pendulum is gonna swing, bite you in the ass. He's out walking around with his new chick, Chase Sui Wonders, and um, all the Kim tats are gone. That was just hopefully, where? hopefully the laser removal was very painful too. Wait, where were the tattoos? Was that in the picture? Yeah, it was right there on the picture. Let like, me see. It, it, he said, it said Kim's uh, uh, something about my lawyer right there. Yeah, but what about the ones uh, with Kanye's my kids? My lawyer or some shit. That's not the only tats he had from that. Yeah, I, I never take tattoos too serious with people who have a bunch of tattoos because you would damn near get anything. I, I, I would get anything. My tattoo. girl and my lawyer in reference to Kim passing the bar exam in December 2021 as well as the initials of Kim and Kanye West's Four children, North St. Chicago, and Song 
That's wild. My, my body. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. What's the difference in him getting a tattoo removed in comparison to the nigga taking that ring back? No, real talk. My like, yeah, that's cool. But why you? Off. Well, but when he did it though, but when he tattooed the kid out of pocket, I said, out of pocket. I thought the pussy was fired. I'm not gonna lie though. You tied another but nigga. But it's kid? because it's a tat that you guys are looking at is like something forever. He went and got it removed. Yeah. So like. You could get it removed now. Exactly. If you had known Nothing. when he got it done that, hey, this is something that's probably not going to be here when once they do break up, yeah. would anyone would have arrested him as hard for getting no, it done? Still he, that's, still my, so that's still the kids, though, because that's kind of like no, a That shot. is a weird that's situation. Yeah, I like would like never shot. feel cool about anybody putting my kids' names on. Get your kids. Nah. Oh, that's get your weird kids fun. tatted. Your that's kids weird. is getting tatted. But everyone made a big deal of it because of the seriousness <laughs> of it. <laughs> How serious <laughs> could it have been? That's weird. <laughs> yeah, full out of pocket as fuck. Trying to take, <laughs> trying to take Why my kids. Like, <laughs> Why you doing like the half cabbage badge when you do that shit? Like, um, I'm not gonna lie. No, that's wild. Ah. My my body looks like a high school notebook. I have bitches' names tatted all over that I no longer fuck with. How many? You got girls' names tatted? Multiple. You got multiple girls' names at it? Absolutely. You have no bitches. Absolutely. How many? This nigga Absolutely. Nigga has More no than five or bitches. less than five? None. Uh, I got none. You ain't More got than no, five or less than uh, five? Uh, less, uh, less than five. Had, less of it. They're not they visible. Had, There's only one you can see here. Let me see, dog. You can see one that says Peach right there. Where it say that? Right there. Man, that don't count. Let me all see. Right, all right, yeah. It's not like... You can't even... You If you wouldn't have told us that, we would have... That little-ass tattoo. I got... um. It's say it's on my stomach. It says Jill on a Xanax bar. Like there's like a Xanax bar. It says Come Jill. on, was dog. Yeah, I was high as hell. <laughs> I got Heather name on my face. Yeah, but that's like that's that's, right. that's always and forever, right? So you no, nah, it's like peak. You fuck around. I did this shit. You're gonna cover that? it up with more hair. Is there? A, <laughs> is, is there? I'm gonna, a go scar? To, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go to Turkey and get some hair follicles. How in long y'all was together before you had it? Two weeks. Uh, probably like a like a month, probably like two years. Why is the mic on your chin? Pause. I don't know. Pause. <laughs> this sounds hella out of pocket. That was pause. That was pause. Right? He was Thank resting you. on it. It's a holla. We gotta say pause a lot more in this motherfucker. <laughs> we gotta make sure everything gets said pause so we know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Tiny K. Yeah, it was, uh, Wait, jokes is coming. I'm a I'm, jokes coming for my boy. Don't even worry about it. How long y'all together? Probably like two years. Ah, oh. it was you know. You how long you was a peach? Oh, I was with you her. You mad because like, ain't nobody got your name tattooed? I, I was I with her for four years. I, ain't nobody got your name tattooed, Gina. Stop playing. I was with her for four years. By the time I got that, the other bitch I wasn't even really with like that. Gina, no nigga has your name tattooed. Full name, Regina. Never. How old was y'all? 17? <laughs> Fuck out of here. It don't matter. I no, can't say got, too much. He got that from Where Regina King. Don't lie. I can't say too Where much. Where he at? Oh, is Regina. this Regina. Yeah, fucking right. And you Regina. broke up with her? You wait, multiple? You I'm talking about multiple niggas. Oh. Regina lying like a motherfucker. Get Gina ass <laughs> up out of here, man. <laughs> she lying like a motherfucker, man. Why you haven't got none of them covered up? Because I don't care. It's a part of history. It's part of yeah. life. Thank you. Yeah. That's it's like your little black Thank notebook. You. Yeah, it's it's literally like my tattoos are a journey, good, bad, and ugly. I have I have some hideous tattoos I will never get covered up. Just mm -hmm. what I was feeling at the time. Not lasered off either. All right, no, this you. next uh, topic. This sounds like something Vast Ty would do. Cafeteria worker arrested <laughs> for allegedly selling homemade weed edibles to high school students. Come I, on, Vast Ty. Her. Come I on, Vast Ty. <laughs> That's some shit, yeah. Like, That's the lunch lady. You got us up That's here. That's the lunch lady right there. Last time I did this shit, homie. <laughs> somebody. Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> somebody somebody in the chat, please, please do a meme of Vashti on that lunch lady's face. We need that. She was a temporary caf cafeteria worker in high school, Louisiana, and was arrested last week after allegedly selling homemade weed edibles to students. The worker later identified as Tamerica Tamer Cohen. Cohen. Tamerica? Tamerica yeah. Cohen. You know what I mean? Tamerica. You know what I mean? You in jail. Don't even <laughs> worry about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they got your last name. You 45 and you going down. You know what I'm saying? You was, your Ooh. ass was removed. From the summer high school campus and placed into custody. You know what I'm saying? You were going down, young lady. School officials said in a statement they had received word that there was possible 
Hold on. Damn, who? So, so somebody in the cafeteria told on her. They received word. So you was doing it too, probably, because they probably didn't want to get caught. But we're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? It was a possible threat involving a, a what? A substitute? A what? A substitute cafeteria a substitute. worker. Damn, dog. I'm suing the school. We don't even need to read all Allegedly this. selling suing, homemade baked goods I'm laced suing with the school. marijuana. Dog. That'd be so... Think like about not this. Only, like, not only in a public school do I think you, like, under no circumstance would be allowed to bring in your own food to sell to students. Fuck no. That's a good point. No. Let alone... Let alone <laughs> Let alone used. some weed brownies. Yo, but think First about... First of all, they do that. You know what I'm saying? They do that now. Uh, they'll let you come in and, and serve... And oh, for real? Your own shit. food? Okay. And they do that in a, in wait, class. In a public school, In though? a public school, they'll let you sell your own like, Yeah, because it, it, right now, because it's all healthy food. So some teachers and some students are allowed to sell different things. I but remember she's a cafe- But she's a cafeteria worker, though. I don't so know. So if she came through with the cookies, they probably like, okay, the cookies already made. Fuck yeah, it. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, it makes sense. We'll sell them here. Think about this. How dope would it be to be a kid in that high school and you know that the lunch lady what a got plug. some fucking edibles on deck? That's a plug. Plug. That is because so ill. If the school is allowing people to come in and sell stuff, there has to be some type of protocol where they we can just split the bread. Sure that no, we just got to split the bread. Good enough to for it's even consumable. And that's Louisiana. They don't you give a fuck. See, when I was when I was little, I used to tell my teacher, "Hey, here go like a dollar fifty. Go get me one of the." The teacher cookies from y'all cafeteria because mm-hmm. I don't want to buy. Cookies was always better. Yeah, they cookies was they better, had and I had ones. to buy. Yeah, the big ass one I had to buy for a dollar twenty five, dollar fifty. So that's probably what she she probably you know they was doing. They probably like okay, but you got you re- cookies, come on up in here. But do you remember too when it was like when niggas was selling like Kool Aid and gummy worms and pickles and Kool Aid and hot Cheetos, yep. and they used to come and snatch your shit if you were selling it. You wasn't yep. it wasn't safe to sell. I was I started selling candy straws when I was like twelve mm-hmm. years old, thirteen years old. I was the candy guy. But and at it, least if if there if if there's protocol now to where they're able to sell this shit, somebody has to the school has to take some type of accountability where they testing it and making sure this is consumable for kids. Now but, I see that a kid that it said I it said I want to commend this student who saw something and used a PS3 app to bring a threat to the attention of our school officials and law enforcement. Um, information was first shared uh, to authorities with anonymous reporting at PS3, but P3. It's not P3. a PS3. Sorry, I, that's what I was reading. About. I'm like, damn, Sorry. they gave all the kids PSPs. <laughs> what is the hell is a P3? I think it's just an app. It's a, it's a, it's like a, like an anonymous, like what Braden, like almost what... like neighborhood or. Uh, like sorry, PS3. Uh, sorry, PS Here, Sony. It uh, you know it's like saying? what Braden and uh and Tariq was selling their drugs on. <laughs> that's wild. All these, but all the these, kid, like, all these on, power references. <laughs> She trying to kill the nah. kids, huh? No, that bitch need to be, she need to be put in under the jail. I would have loved we're talking her if about, I was in school. But imagine, y'all have edibles as an adult. That should take you out. Oh, for sure. Wow, Those kids are getting loaded. That should take you out. You're yes. giving that shit to kids? And honestly, it's a big risk because they're like, you could smell them, right? Yep. Like, you could smell that very clearly. If, especially if you have a whole tray of them. Bro, you know. I took, I, uh, somebody gave me a cupcake. It was a, a red velvet. When red velvet was popping, when they go, oh, you got the red velvet, you got the red velvet. She had a red velvet cupcake, and she was like, okay, it's a little weed in there. And I took a big ass bite, big ass bite. I was like, oh, this cupcake is fire, nigga. I'm talking about thirty minutes later, I, my body was heating up like mm-hmm. an oven. I said, oh my god, I'm start getting scared. I had to leave the studio, went home, still panicked. The next day I woke up, I was still high. Damn. It lasted. I was still, be like that, dude. Bro, it'd be, like be like that. It'd be like bro. that. I was panicking. I was like, well, fuck it. I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to go to sleep. And went to sleep, woke up, still blow. Mm-hmm. Gone. I'm no, like, and then like, even the day after that, you still feel super you still slow. Kind of, you, yeah, weird. you still yeah. feel because it's in your bloodstream, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, I ain't taking these edibles. They crazy. I ain't doing it no more. You're anymore. not really like, I feel like you're the way that nature intended THC to be as like something you smoke. It was not supposed to be consumed in such a concentrated form like that. It's mm. way too much. Mm-hmm. That's why it hits you like that. But not like what you were saying earlier, like when I was 13, I would sell candy straws, like 
I would get the the hunted pack for twenty bucks. Remember yeah. the bowlies? I, I'm selling them for two for a dollar. Yeah, I, I, it would create such. There's like the little break periods and at lunch, and it created such a disturbance uh-huh. that they, they shut me down. And then I'm such an entrepreneur. I go to the. I'm to, such an entrepreneur. I, I, I thought I was. I go to the vice principal of the, of the school, and I'm like, "This is an experiment in economics." Blah 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 blah. And then they let me sell it again. Mm. Mm. Oh, you cold. Oh, so you really was doing I, the selling had, drugs way back then. I had, you got I a had history. Some, you got I, a little. <laughs> I had a little mouthpiece. You was on the path, huh? Yeah, yeah. That was like <laughs> right. I would have been flipping the fucking edibles Wait, so, to the kids. But these students got like a little snitch app. Yes, yeah, P three. I said P three. Anonymous, you anonymously report shit. That's good though. That's I'm good. I'm telling. P three. I'm telling app. Not crimes, crime stoppers. Crime stoppers. Oh, it's crime stoppers. Yeah. It's crime stoppers. Cuss, snitch. The multilingual, <laughs> the multilingual P3 tips app is, it a, need sec- a, snitch. is a secure, anonymous, and efficient means of safely snitching. Then yeah. you're so dumb that you're not even slanging them on a low. You done got caught. She's in the cafeteria on blast, but that's like the beauty of it. That's like what makes it so great. If you're a consumer, like if I was a kid, I would yeah. love that. For but sure. imagine, imagine six period come, they slumped. Oh, absolutely. Hey, I was talking about this shit on my stream about platonic relationships. Like, how do you feel about, you know, your girl or your man having, you know what I'm saying, a male, you know what I'm saying, a male friend or a, a female friend, you know what I'm saying, when y'all in a relationship and them confiding in them, you know what I'm saying, when something happens. Like, do you think... You could actually go through that because I was asking my homies like if my if your girl had a male friend and he wasn't gay, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And then y'all got into it and she called him like, nigga, yeah, nigga, come pick me up. This nigga getting into it with me. Like, I think it is how like like how do you take that? That's like that's a no go, right? Like, how do you take that? Come on, you know what I'm saying? Come what would you me. do? I think it's she the- need, she need to find some gay friends. <laughs> <laughs> But we going to talk about that, too. But saying, but saying, come get me, I think that's different. It's about how you use the relationship. Because, like, I can be dating a guy and not know how to react to something. But I might be able to call you, like, hey, T-Rail, this nigga just got mad at me because I just, I'm outside on Instagram and leather. I don't know. Yeah. I'm in the club and shit. So you I can got probably, smacked like in my pics. You can probably provide me with a better understanding on why my nigga is tripping. So I would kind of appreciate that if, my, if I'm mad at my dude... And he needs. He probably think I'm tripping on you on some girl shit, but he got a girl best friend, and he can call and be like, hey, "But imagine Dina, how that sounds, nigga. I'ma call Terrell to pick me up. Fuck you, nigga." But that's all about the way of, the girl is abusing it. Like, also, also, you're like, okay, does it make a difference if that person is single or not? That definitely makes a difference. Like if they're in a relationship. So if he's single, you know what I'm saying? Let's say, okay, Josh, wife, you guys get into it, and you know what I'm saying? You have an argument, and she said, oh. I'm gonna call Paul to pick me up, and this is her male friend. He's not gay, <laughs> by the way. Paul. Fuck Paul's Paul. picking her up. Yeah, fuck Paul. Good luck, Paul. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. Do we are we fighting Paul or do we argue with Paul? Like, you know what? Look, Paul, you can't have a male friend. Paul can never pick you up again. If if Paul ever texts you or calls you again, this relationship is done. To come find in, yes, but to come pick you up, no. The yeah, pick, the picking up. I mean, that's your yeah. friend. You don't feel wow. safe. It's the no. picking pick me up because is you're no go. As a friend. woman, now I'm vulnerable. I'm all in this nigga face or whatever, and don't let him be a nigga. But what if you text him? What if <laughs> what if you you see the yo? Yeah. You, what if you texting him? What if your wife is texting him like, uh, and this just a bunch of crazy shit like, oh fuck him and fuck Josh and this and that and the other blah, blah, blah. and he's agreeing with it like, yeah, he's, he's a, a bum ass nigga. Yeah, that's and I hate him. And then, but that's her friend. But no. is it still her friend? Can he still come over and still fuck with her? No. No. If, That's as crazy. The, I feel like the male's role, the homeboy's role in that relationship is to tell the girl where Josh is coming from. Right. To listen. To not to like be a place where like, all right, get all your shit out. But what if he didn't and like I'm you? I'm going to give you some insight. Then they shouldn't like, be friends. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what, though, Gina? That's, but a lot of your that's, friends, a lot of girlfriends don't like, you know what I'm saying, boyfriends. That sounds great. Look. <laughs> it this sounds is, great. I have, I have a lot. I have a lot of male friends. Y'all all included. Okay. Yeah. If I get into it with my nigga, don't call me. <laughs> do not call me. Yeah, call, call, you're gonna need to call, call Almighty. Andy. Call Almighty about that feel, one. I feel like y'all not the type of niggas that's gonna be on some like ho no, shit. Y'all gonna no. be on some. 
But bro code. Bro code. Bro code. Bro code. But, bro code. No, but, Jeannie, no. you wrong. Why the bro fuck code. Yes, yes, yes. But our bro code is going to be loyal to you, not him. They're going to be, I think right? they're going to be to loyal a certain to, extent. to yep. a certain extent. I think they're going to be loyal to me and telling me where I'm wrong at and how I should deal we with We're going to keep it 100 gonna, with you. Y'all not going to try to we're, fuck we're gonna, me. We're going we're gonna to keep it 100 with you, but at the same time, we're. I'm more loyal to you than whoever you're dating. Period. But, okay, but, so but you're going to tell me if I'm right or wrong. Like I said, of course. I'm yeah. keep it okay, so what people. if you picked up the phone? This is her homie. She's been knowing him 20, 30 years. Picked up the phone, blue, you know what I'm saying? You look good in that leather outfit last <laughs> night. That means your bitch out of pocket because cool. she should know how to read that relationship too. I mean, but if she reading it and, and they homies, but do we, how, where do we draw the line? Like, homie, hold on. You can't be complimenting my. You know what I mean? But it would be you don't got, really. But you don't got homegirls you've had since way back in the back in the that are in relationships now? No. Okay. I definitely do. Well, I do have homegirls, but they really not in relationships. That's fucked up to say, but they, they really not in relationships. But hopefully I didn't they even are do that. Point, I didn't though, even right? do that. But they were, but I still I didn't do that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I still talk to them how I talk to them and all that, but I wouldn't be like, hey, you look cool. No, that, of course not. But you, of course, you're not. Especially <laughs> when, you, when you use the fucking <laughs> Theo from 92.3, the beat voice. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how I'm going to use it. If, I, if, you, if, I, if I'm reading the text, that's how I read it. I'm like, hold on, that nigga talking to you. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's if like your, if your girl got a homeboy that be flirting and trying to get at her, and then she's confiding in him about the relationship, that's flawed on her. Anyway. Okay, let's reverse it. You have a she, she has a gay homeboy. All good. Talk to the gay dude. But he freaking up on your. You know what I'm saying? They, no, they, he's they not. So, party. They but they had a party. No, they do no, this. They do this lush. type of shit. They orientate. They slapping the butt. Look. So. I he doing a hair slap. I am uh, disgusted by it. He don't like it. No. He's disgusted. He's disgusted by it. I have come it. across this where Sarah had, like, one of her best friends is gay. And I, okay. I'm super tight with this dude. We're close. It's great. Yo. We, she had another gay friend in college. And the other friend she had known for a long time. And whatever. Like, I met him. He's cool. Like, I'd have no problem. If she was going and visiting him and them sleeping in the same bed, I'd have zero issue whatsoever. Because, you got the game so, fucked up. But I've met these other dudes who were also gay friends who felt like super comfortable, like they could be changing in front of her and just like whipping their shit out. And I was like, nah, you're being way too Thank flirtatious. You. You're being way too comfortable with it. Like, I have a problem with that type of shit. I, I mean, yeah, oh, that's that's crossing the no. line. <laughs> yeah. So there's, there's like these different around, levels of like, oh, he's my gay room. friend. He's my gay friend. Cock he, in the exactly. room is a fucking no-go. Gay yeah. or not, you can't be fuck. sleeping... Come on, come over here. Let me spoon you. Her dad was in the exact same bed, too. So no, that's again, how. this isn't like a weird situation. I where, feel bad like, for her dad. It, I felt bad for her, her, him mostly. <laughs> for Adam's dad. I felt bad for her friend. That's crazy. That's how, fool. <laughs> no, and that's like not a weird situation. <laughs> right? But this is Adam's dad. Oh, in the it, can be. it all depends on the girl. It all depends on the friend. It all, like, it's yeah. not as that cut and dry. No, no that'd be, it'd be some would that be freaking up on them little mm -hmm. shorts, grabbing up on them, slapping the butt. That's oh, what I said, are the boobs look nice. Grab the boobs. Yeah, yeah but but is no. it is that yeah, okay. doing a touchy feely? Is that done no. in a sexual way though? It, it, I'm saying they it's be bi, dog. Way. If they buy, it's no. done in a play, but if, it's if, bi. No, 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 no. You have to be fucking riding a unicorn over the rainbow highway so Damn, your girl so your wife gay friend he see your wife you whatever he slapped the butt boom butt looks nice ah and then grips it ah it's looking nice there you looking good that, that's, is that cool or not that, sounds bi, that, that does not sound heter um homosexual but that gays do bi. that though dog no, gays that do that out of it's pocket. The, i don't care I, I don't gays like, do that I, though I, i'm not fucking gay, yo, with that. gay homies do that no I'll squabble that nigga. Don't you lying, Gina. Stop playing, dog. I'm dead serious. You know your gay homies do that. She's different, though. Bro, she no, different. she's not. She's she bullshit. She cat. She different. She cat. Do this look she cute. Different. Hold on. Let me see you this. Let me see. Do I look cute? Do I look cute? I oh, can let me face time my gay homie right now. He ain't slapping my ass. But he's seen you naked. No. Half you lying, you cap. The I'm whole I'm internet cap. seen her. The whole she internet cap. seen her half naked. What do you <laughs> mean? Cap, but Gina capping, dog. I ain't changing in front of him. All that shit is. I don't know. I don't believe these dudes, homie. I is no way that I believe. I, I that like I'm a believe that you that hey, you saying that 
the the year and the mean don't feel good. That shit hey, feels hey, crazy. Hey, 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 what a great like, you lying. No, dude. no, no, no. But real talk, you are lying. What a great hustle that would be. You're just I, I, yo. By the way, I'm gay. I want to kick it with you, girl. I'm gay. It's a thing on. It's a, it's it's a dude right now on the internet. Like he speak like saucy like that. He'll speak saucy to get the girl's attention and take pictures of him and all the whole little shit. And then at the end, he he uses real voice like, cause he'll get their number. Then once he get their number, he be like, all right, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Good looking. <laughs> and they be like, <laughs> and it's just crazy, dog. Girls is wild. Have you, you know have you experienced like with your lady, a overly affectionate gay homie of hers? Nah, have not 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 in, in front of me. Not in front of me or doing anything in front of me or doing none of that shit. Like anybody that I feel like is her gay homie or they gay, like they feel super uncomfortable in, in, like around me. That's how. I, yeah, <laughs> don't worry about nothing. I kill so everybody in this motherfucker. You making niggas? Feel, you making these niggas? But what about when you're not around and it's just them and her? Do they feel comfortable? Do what then? y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Let don't let me see it. But if I see it, ain't none of that. Go yeah. sit your ass down over there to the side. Now you tripping now, if you see that she done told a nigga, me and, me and Terrell are getting into it, come get me. Not the gay homie. She could do that, right? She could do that to the gay homie. Yeah. He could come pick her up, man, do all yeah. that. I probably bust his window, too, or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hate crime. Chill out. That nigga came and picked you up for the bust his nigga window. <laughs> Steven's on his way to pick me up. Fucking <laughs> That's not cool, homie. Don't worry about Steven. He's gay. Or Paul. No, Paul's not gay. Paul. <laughs> Paul's, Paul's Paul a pussy. Is Paul. Paul is a pussy hound, bro. Let's be honest. Okay. Uh, oh, we'll leave it there. You hear what I mean? But that, that was crazy. I, you know, I had to ask the homies that niggas wasn't fucking with that type of shit. Uh, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's all nah, you should be the only guy that she's that close with. Like, I think it's a territory thing, too, where you don't want her confiding in your like for cox get, in the room is crazy i'm dude, just gonna say that is wild out of, i'm fighting i fuck wild i said get the fuck out of here yeah nah mm -hmm. i'm throwing heads full uh, but nah, cox in the room yeah that's crazy are you fucking no, but kidding look, this but look, 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 bro, look 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 heather has a you know a woman's clothing business pause <laughs> they have a woman's clothing business <laughs> And <laughs> that's crazy, Paul. <laughs> but <laughs> the jokes is coming. Probably next week. I'm gonna give it two weeks. I'm, I'm but, sorry, it was, I'm not even making yeah, fun of you. Well, look, that shit was funny. Yes, but they come in the dressing room, and some transgenders be falling through there too. Like I said, you know what I mean. And sometimes they'll come through, like you know, like her other little uh, photo shoot room, and she'll let them do the whole little thing. And one day, you feel me? You know, her sister, we know, you know, like to uh, style and get them dressed and all the whole little shit. And one day, niggas like, shit, fuck it. You're in a mean. Okay. So I'm this like, is now. And a dick popped up. That's crazy. Uh, hey, like I said, it don't matter if it's a transgender, if it's a gay. Cox in the room. Is out. Is out. We're not doing Cox. Even if nope. the thing got the titties. Even if the thing got some things. You know what I mean? We're not doing that. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. We are dog. not doing that, sir. Yeah. Not on my watch. Come to Sorella sometime. I mean, the, the girls is crazy. They be walking around when they in the dressing room. They be wanting you to see. Yeah. What? They crazy, dog. They come out the dressing room with mirrors. So if they did that and, and you're in the store... You just happen to be in there, but they're like dealing with your lady. And, and, They'll come and out you, the dressing room, and you be seeing the titties and all that. Does your lady trip on that when the titties are adjacent? No, I've, I've, because this is what we do for a living, so right, I'm right, kind of right. like used to all of this shit. So then, a cop in the room has a different kind of. Are you huh? You staring? Am Hell I staring? Yeah. He's yeah. looking. I'm a glance at the. He's looking. <laughs> He's making sure no one's stealing anything. He's a store owner. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, but if she say if she say, T real, how this look? On the girl, the girl. I'm like, hey, I don't know, but I got, you know what I'm saying? I got Chelsea here. Chelsea I got Lay here. I got these other young ladies that could come help you. Don't worry about nothing. Come zip so me up. So you're not giving your opinion to any customer. I'm not though. giving that's my smart. opinion to none of that shit. Come zip me you up. You could get a, I mean, that's a good, <laughs> that's a good way that's to avoid out. a lawsuit come too, help right? Come take this yes. off. Yeah, for real, that right? That is a good way to avoid a lawsuit. Oh, that's right. I'd be just getting out of there. Just, you know, common sense. Like, yeah. 
You got to get out of there. Your instincts are correct on that one. Yeah, you got to get out of there on that type of shit, man. Because they will try to hit a stain real quick. Yeah. yeah. I mean, girls don't be knowing shit. Like, why Why do? Why girls can't make their own decisions just as far as, like, small shit? Like, what are we finna eat? Like, what is that about? Like, why you don't... Why the fuck don't you know what to eat? What and how come if eat? we make a suggestion, yes. it's the wrong answer? Well, no, because they, they don't know what they want to eat, but they do know what they don't want to eat. And any suggestion is going to be wrong. Okay, I want a Taco Bell. Uh-uh. Not, uh, that's not... Uh-uh. Well, okay. Well, I want this. Uh, uh, I had that yesterday. Then well, what do you want? I don't know. You choose. Why the bitch, fuck I'm at me? <laughs> you, I, I'm, you and Vash, yeah, this I got to talk. Yeah, a consistent talk. thing here. No, well, they got to talk. You well, know what I'm saying? this the thing. This the thing with you me. You and Vash, I ain't here. Talk it up. I like guidance. You like guiding. I like guidance. I'm guiding you the right way. We so going to if, McDonald's. If we going to guy, Taco Bell. <laughs> if a guy suggests what we're going to eat, then I'm going to go with what he suggests. Just the first suggestion? Yeah. You are, you are so capped. That's Why not you think true. You have your cap hat Girls on don't do today. that. See, Vash is agreeing with you. Yeah. Girls don't do that. But last time, if a dude, if you say I'm hungry and a nigga say, well, fuck it, we going to go to uh, Chick-fil-A and, you know, you, what you going to say? We need options. We need options. But nah, see, this, I don't know about Chick-fil-A. Let me see. What else? But this is why I would, I would agree with the guy because I'm the type, I have an addictive personality. So once I get, eat one thing good, I can eat that shit the whole week. So if you suggest something, I'll be like, all right, I'm going to have that because I was just going to go and get what the fuck I had yesterday anyway. So you eat one thing the, the whole week? If it's good, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Nah. Until I'm tired of, until I'm tired of eating it. Nah, you got to explore the menu. You, if you're yeah. going to the same spot, you got to get switch it up. Mm-mm. Gina, it sounds great. So who's going to Cheesecake Factory right now and just getting one thing? I only get the jambalaya. <laughs> hey, you know I get what? the chicken Madeira. I, you That's know what? Just it's the thing about it. the, the thing like about chicken che- the thing about Cheesecake Factory. So the, the, the 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 menu is this big, but I everybody that I know only has their one thing that they get. Mm-hmm. That's why I like going with a ton of people to try to, to try everything and a buffalo blast. The Buffalo Blast is top tier. Crazy. Their blue cheese, top notch. Fuck and blue cheese. Not eating blue no. cheese. And the I'm not dip, eating top tier. tier blue cheese. I'm not like eating any here. blue cheese. Blue cheese belong in the trash. Never. <laughs> Fuck that shit. No ranch dressing. My boy really white. Oh, he said right. blue cheese. Fuck no. I almost don't use any dressing. No ever, ranch. But their blue cheese. Is no incredible. blue cheese. <laughs> is that like? Is that like really? That's like anyway. So nah. where do you go for cheesecake? What did you get from cheesecake? Not no blue cheese. Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> What's your go-to though? I don't have a go-to at, at cheesecake. Chick Fil A. Vash Thai only eat salad from Chick. Y'all have only eat, seen Bro, it with salad. Vash Thai came in here with a Chick Fil A salad. I was starving too. This is what happened to me with hot Cheetos. I didn't like hot Cheetos, so one day I was starving and I was like, "Give me something." I was like, "Oh, these bitches taste like a steak." But she she, <laughs> <laughs> she had a Chick Fil A salad, right? And I don't know how her little concoction was. She didn't even want to show me, right? She like, "This is my secret." And she put it in a cup. I'm like, I'm fucking, I'm going to eat the salad out of the cup because I'm this hungry. And I ate that shit. I was like, damn. Was Fire. it the avocado dressing? The creamy avocado dressing. She's a, so she's a chemist. She made, she made me start liking the salad. I never she fucked with the salad. Can you, can you tell me what, did you get the, fr- the, the fried chicken nuggets on it? Did you have that? No. So what, what chicken was that? It was a spicy filet. What they put on the sandwich? Bruh. That shit was she so good. She put everything good. inside and she shake it yeah. up. Yeah. She Kardashian. She, it up. Yeah. she Kardashian that thing. Oh. Yeah. It was too fire, bro. Vasta Vasta is a scientist with the food. I ain't gonna lie. To yeah, you. she was a scientist with that damn salad. You know what I mean? So Vasta, I know what you want to eat. Uh Portos. Sometimes. I live next. But y'all both single, so we don't know. She knows. You, you single? I guess not. She's not single. My bad. Wrap it up. (laughs) (laughs) We wrapping this thing up. You know what I'm saying? That was the news. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. Lush here. Gina here. Bash Tide was partially here. You feel me? I had one other person here, but he really didn't get to talk. His name is Will. Shouts to my, I was about to say, shouts to my big homie from back in the day. My old DJ, DJ Illogic, Will. I was literally about to do it. Great dude. Great DJ. Battle DJ champion. And uh, yeah. Yes, sir. We need to do this concoction again. Should I come back? Yes. All right. Am I invited back? Yeah, I can only come early, though, because I got to go do some I shit like for my kids little, now. I like this, this concoction. Squad. Give me I some like more.